was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. going on let's get this going here after I forgot to set like five different things up so hopefully the uh, starting soon thing doesn't give you all a headache um, that was kind of a last minute thing that I have going way too fast so it, it it's going a little too fast for my taste but I did it, it was like right at like 
858. I was like, I gotta render this and post it. <laughs> so, and then there's that one. I gotta figure out where that's covered at. Da 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 da. There yeah, we go. So, welcome to the stream. I see you guys talking about my music. I was just playing like the best of like 2022 or something, and it sounded like we were in a Mexican restaurant there for a minute. I was like, eh, this is just not it. So. <laughs> Since I haven't, I haven't ate anything tonight, so we'll see what the next few hours brings. Anyway. I'll try not to make you too hungry then. Oh yeah, dude, I, I just, I don't do that much with it to be honest. Like, howdy. Oh, lower the audio, so, you know. So, like the thumbnail said, we are starting on Chilliwack, British Columbia, which is a 4X map. As you can see, this is my very first save starting this, so we're going to see it take kind of together. This guy, I think it's... I don't want to get the name wrong. Um... Was it um, Chumpy Farmer? Yeah, Chumpy Farmer. Chumpy Farmer um, created this map. I think. Looks pretty amazing. He uh, actually submitted it to North American Mods. And over this last week, I just haven't had time to like go and do it. So this is going to be kind of the start of like, the review session. Because I kind of go through the mods and just make sure that you know it's not going to like destroy anything. So... Uh, disable a few mods that I don't really care about too much. <laughs> it's it's been a night. Push you up a little bit so I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of quiet. You're here, good. <laughs> there was like a handful of mods I always have to disable. Let's see if auto drive was having some issues last save. We'll see if it still has it or not. Rainy, have you fixed that backhoe yet? I know you were wanting to, but I didn't know if you ever got around to it or not. No, I've got a friend looking into it right now. I miss using that thing how it should be used. What mod do you need added? Oh, it's just the, uh, the drive over backhoe uh, auger. It doesn't I'm... work? It works, but you have to have it connected to a tractor so and you, and you don't want it to be like that yeah. correct that's how it was in 19 but i'm assuming it probably had a special it was set up as a uh, dry as a dry it was set as drivable i'm i'm assuming you just kind of set it up like the base game belt that you use to pull stuff off the ground maybe i don't know i need i need to look at it i can probably figure it out I just this is the first time i've actually loaded fs in like the last two weeks so uh, just try to knock out i was actually trying to find the link to the website I don't remember if you posted it in Discord or if you posted it in uh, on your Facebook. Which one? The uh, uh, one for my uh, mod site. Yeah. Namods.com. I was trying to find it at the moment. Yeah. It should be popping up on Google searches. It should. Google's indexed it. I just haven't 
look to make sure that it's actually showing up. And I just saw this on your Facebook. I was scrolling through your Facebook. You have a TikTok now? Yes. It's literally, I just post the same reels I put on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. So. I was going to say... I was gonna say, let the cringy farm sim TikTok speak. No, 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 <laughs> no, not. Well, so, Giants partnerships really weird. So, if they honored how many people you have on Facebook, I would be well past the criteria. And I was trying to get like the whole partner thing, but I'm still like 200 points short with everything combined together. So, that's like yeah. Yeah. I was. I was actually working on um, a Twitch yeah. the other night. Okay. Um, okay, that. Okay. Uh, might for just. Say, or server stream sake. We'll just mute him temporarily. Um, Tom, my Thanksgiving was fairly decent. Had more driving than anything, so. A bit chilly. Yeah, I think I, like, gathered up, like, close to 40 hours drive time over the <laughs> five-day break I had. So, in other words, if you put in a full work week without putting in a full work week. Correct. Yep. I... Pretty sure I was probably like the last person to leave campus and the first one back. That's how it felt. Oh, man. Mm. It's literally been so long I can't remember which mods like have issues. I just need to remove them, but I always forget just to remove them. So. <laughs> So I've not yet started reworking the frame on the TD-190 yet. I just haven't had time to sit down and start remaking it. I thought Jono was helping you with that. Uh, he just helped with the animations and stuff. I It should only take me a day or two to redo the frame because that's all that really needs to be redone on it. It's just a matter of having to go back in and redo the texture maps, redo the UDIM, etc. There's just a lot of faces that are like messed up on it. Like, Giants said it would pass their certification. All I had to do is move or shrink their uh, the decal sheet down. It's like there wasn't so much. Um, empty space on it and they said it would pass but i i didn't because it so if it flips over it looks really wonky because the underside of the frame is not consistent so for like a matter of my sake i just didn't want to like post that so it shouldn't be too terribly long though um I wasn't even asking about a release. I was just oh, I just curious yeah. Of... No, you're you're good. I was just like trying to just update everyone as we go. Oh. Um. I just I'll... did FS seventeen modding. I don't know anything about nineteen and twenty two. It's more advanced than I back in the day that I'm from. So, and fence pack should be getting close. I think it's honestly ready to go. I just haven't had time to like put together a release for it and stuff. So, just FYI, that will not be going to the official mod hub because I don't have the patience to do that. I have never had any good things when it comes to uh, trying to get placeables on the mod hub. So. How many downloads does it have now? Speaking of the Vermeer. Uh, it was only at like 13,000 last time I looked. 
Which the thing is, is it's the same size as like all the other tethers on there. So I wasn't, yeah, it's at 13,312. So, not. But it's literally, it's literally the first, first Vermeer and Mollet. American tether at that. Yeah, so, it's, it is what it is. Um, I ain't gonna, once I add the TD-190 to it, I guarantee you those download numbers will shoot through the roof. Guarantee it. Plus, honestly, I think the TD-190 has, it's better anyway like the actual model in it and stuff like there's certain things on the smaller one i could improve on but i probably won't because it's already passed so yeah it's already there i'm not gonna really worry about it whoops i should hit that button Dang. fair enough so there is 191 different farmlands. Holy crap. Looks like 102. There's 200. 218. 219 fields. Good lord. It's even got a train on it though too. I gotta, get, I gotta give respect to this guy. I have no clue who he is. But this guy got has my respect without a doubt holy cow i haven't even started playing on the map yet like this dude like fps is fairly decent for a 4x i mean like high 50s every now and then it hits 40 not bad not bad um There's any giant errors here. Da, da, da. A lot of imports. Right, some color grading in there. Huh. I don't think this map has. Oh. That is not. Any errors from this map, though? Huh. So, that's FYI. This map is... Appears to be air-free in most cases, so... Well, I like, I like the lighting on it. Uh, the screen is way far behind. Yeah. So... Oh, there's also cars that will run into you. Yeah, I, I went back just to normal latency tonight, so... I figured that was probably just the best move. So, uh, okay, can someone watching the stream let me know if it is like 38 or 360 P? I noticed that earlier, but I didn't know if it's actually there or not. Give me a second. Because I know I'm somewhere my stream labs got reset and I am having like 30% of the frames getting dropped. And it's only putting out like 5,000 gigabytes, so. Mine's showing auto at 720. Okay, so we at least have 720. That's better than nothing. Okay, we'll take that. So. I mean, I have my FPS unlocked, so it'll go as high as it can. But I am running pretty much the highest graphics you can run in FS. And we're above 60 FPS, so I I'm gonna give him this is probably more likely gonna be the first map on North American mods. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you know, I seen it was like a Canadian map, and I don't really play on Canadian maps too terribly much. So I honestly was low key had no idea what to expect, but like. This thing is like really nice. Like the mountains in the background. Man. It's definitely BC. It, it, it also kind of feels like. Um, like over the Ap or Appalachians too. You get down there in some of them valleys where it's just flat. 
But like, look how high the grass is. This is default grass. I have not edited this map. Like, the guy has literally pulled out all the stops on this map, and it is freaking insane. He must have followed your YouTube tutorial. You know, it's really easy to do it if you kind of know what you're doing. Although, the land is stupidly expensive. It is <laughs> $39,000 an acre. <laughs> or, an hectare. Let me get that right. That that bugs the crap out of me when it puts the value in acres, and then the actual area of it in acres. Like, get some consistency. Come on, giants. But yeah, so land is a little expensive, you know, for a few acres. But you know, we'll, we'll live with it. I gotta no. gotta add some comments on somewhere. So. I wonder if it's talking in. He priced them in Canadian. Just think about with it being Canada. I wonder if that also would, uh, if the conversion say, would does it, could be applied to it. They don't transfer. The money values don't change, do they? Between U.S. dollar and Canadian dollar, yeah, they do. Um, on the game. Oh. Does not look like it of the year, yeah. which I guess that's kind of hard to do because you know things kind of fluctuate. Yeah, so he might have done it, and then like, yeah, so that's not that big of a deal anyway. So mm -hmm. at least not for me anyway. You know, if, maybe if he starts smaller farm, it's a bigger deal, but. Uh -huh. So we do have a cow farm. He said in the mod description that it is he's left a lot of the building areas um, empty, so you can kind of build your own setups. Okay. Um. So, and then, but it looks like he's got a few there, like, kind of set up. Oh, that is a horse bar. Well, although if it's placeable, so you can sell them. So we'll just, you know, go and. I don't really want a horse barn, so. Opens up a little bit of ground. We can put a feedlot in or something there. Oh, what was the Canadian map that was really good? That was in, uh, 19. I think it was Shellbrook. I think it was by 4MR. Or... I don't, I don't think he had a, I don't think he had a finished one. It was, it was in Alberta, I believe. The one that got leaked? Maybe. All I know is they had like a big custom feedlot set up on it. I think that may have been Marathon County because I think Marathon County got leaked. I just can't not remember the name of it. Oof. It's a little, little big, but you know what? It's okay. Put that right there. That works almost perfectly. Yeah, Tom, I'm not sure what Giants would say about the fence pack. They don't really have a whole lot of wire fences, so I'm not sure if I went about that the right way or not. So, Also, I completely forgot this gate has like a 6 inch pipe on the top of it. <laughs> That'd be a heavy gate. Bad for well, was, then again, I mean, think about it this way out where I'm at. That's kind of typical because we'll use oil field pipe. Well, we use oil field pipe too. I just haven't ever put a six, six inch pipe on top of a gate. But hey, if a cow jumps on it, the chances of it 
buckling are very slim. True. Keep your gates looking new forever, I guess. So that's built. You know, it looks like we got some grass that we can cut. So now we gotta go okay. figure out a tractor we want to do. Trying to figure out what I want to go with here. It's got to be green, you know. I can't really stray away from my green too much. Mm -hmm. If it's red, leave it in the shed. You only say that because I'm the village red guy, other than JCL. I gotta troll you some, huh, Rainy? That's part of um, being part of the stream. Since Taylor ain't here. Since, they, since Taylor's not here, it's kind of hard to make fun of anyone. Oof, do we'll put direct drive or an auto power in this? Actually, we'll go with that auto quad. Now, have you seen, I don't know if you've seen it, but have you seen that on Facebook, that guy that's working on the the uh, 500 gravity wagon? I'm not. Oh, yes. It looks really nice. I need to put some more narrower continentals on this tractor. I guess those are okay. I want some waffle rims on it, though. And I do know that, uh, and I was watching the stream also just a second ago, and I saw where you had one of your feedlots from the Midwest feedlot pack in. Thinking yeah. of, you know, considering it, I happen to know someone that has right now, and it's not me, and I'm glad, but on a, ser a dedicated server, has like. 14 or 15 of them and they're already maxed out that's like 20,000 cows doing it. yeah it's not cave is it it is you might have to say that again or any of my headphones cut out there it is yeah <laughs> It's cave and cattle. I don't I don't know how they can do it. Like that's gotta be like non stop. Like where where do you even get them enough hay ground to cover that? Um <laughs> Cause there's not that much on Elk Mountain, is there? Not that I'm aware of. Good grief. I'm still waiting to hear back from them about because they're they were asking me if I wanted to join their logging save that they got going. Oh, we I got an invite to it too. I just don't do a whole lot of logging. I think it would be fun. Yeah, the problem is, is I'm not necessarily always on at the same time everyone else is on, so my hours kind of vary on like everything, so. Considering it's been like two weeks since you've been in Discord. Yeah, well, you know, I was kind of like everywhere else in the world, so. <laughs> it's It's been a busy the last two weeks. Mm. Guess we'll pull out the Vermeer here. I'm not sure if this color grading is mine crossed with his, or if this is... I think this might be purely his. Sorry for the crunching, by the way. You're I was good. just finishing up. I was finishing up chiplets out of a Lay's bag. I'm surprised your girlfriend hasn't like hit you over the head for being so loud. I'm not even home. You on the road? Not, no, I work an hour and a half away from home, so I stay with family. Ah. Uh, so 
So you're saying that you wouldn't eat them if she was around. Got it. I wouldn't have any because of the kids. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to enjoy my pop my pop tarts a few minutes ago. They were running around. Hmm. Let's go back in and reverse cut this field. Oh, is that say it? something about? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Not you. That initial time, whenever you change to a cab view, and it freezes like for a half second. <laughs> uh, it throws me off. It's like I never do it if I'm going to turn. I always do it on a straight line because if I do it whenever I go to turn, then I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> I do wish the Vermeer mower worked better with the uh, with course play though. Giants doesn't take aftermarket script mods like course play into consideration. Yeah, it's just like it sucks. Which credit course play has never been amazing with trailed mowers, but it seems like with the Vermeer it is exceptionally worse. I will give it that though. I like it for a, it being a center pivot. Oh. I still want to create everything from the Rebel series. Do it. Between the mowers and the balers. Yeah. Do it. Your small farm operations. But I don't know. That's that's a lot of blending skill that I don't necessarily have. <laughs> so. We'll see. I I don't think the new generation knows what Rebel is. Nope, I don't think so. I say go for it. Oh, the problem is is getting measurements for that crap. Because since Vermeer doesn't make it anymore, they don't really have anything that's helpful on their website like they did the Tedders credit i mean they had limited stuff on the tethers anyway but that reminds me i need to stop it'll be next weekend before i go home because this weekend i have to work so next weekend when i go home i will get some pictures of that 190 that they have for sale down at the one of the dealers that i passed by on my way home i'll send them to you too perfect i think it's a 190 Chat is kind of dead tonight. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, guys, wake up. <laughs> There's eleven of y'all there. I think. I don't. I'm not watching myself, so I think that's a solid eleven. Oh uh, yeah. Sometimes I watch myself and it it counts it. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if this is my relight profile or which which one it's pulling here. I don't know, but I like it. It's a little bright. Then again, I also run on mine. Of course, I have additional game settings in. And I run, of course, I have Wesby. So I'll run Wesby lighting on just about everything. So this is its custom preset here. Which isn't bad. Let's see what mine looks like on it. There's Leona's preset on it, which is also isn't terrible. Must be a Billy on fire somewhere. There's a lot of sirens. And there's mine. That's dark. It has high contrast. Yeah, you gotta think I have a lot of latency right now. 
Yeah, I probably should have checked it. Good grief. It's like it has to go right by my place. Holy cow. Look out the window and there's just a big building on fire. That'd be sad. <laughs> Y'all can hear the cue. <laughs> Yeah, I, w I will give them credit. Norman's cues are on point. They're not. There ain't no electronic cues. That's for sure. Right. I mean, they just. And it's not like I live close, but they are. It's just loud. Like it just carries across campus. Which I don't live on campus, but I live close, and it just carries. But most of the time, they're not that loud. Trying to figure out if this is a maze plus thing or what it is with the grass being so light. It's kind of strange. Also, fun fact, this mower actually makes like two separate windrows. They're very wide, but they're two separate windrows. When I saw Giants wasn't doing that, that made me very frustrated. I don't know what Giants yeah. has against mowers making windrows, but it is certainly a thing. They just don't have mowers this big over there in Europe. <laughs> because they can't fit it down the streets. I was going to say it would be just about too wide for their uh, bubble Fiats and Smart 4-2s. Yeah. Yeah, this, this mower I'm pretty sure is exclusively American. It is. Yeah, I mean, a Canadian, Canada, of course, but I guess exclusively North America. You don't really get any grounds that are like us. Maybe Australia. I don't know how much cattle they run in Australia. Oh. I think a lot, but I don't know how much of it's yeah. actually... Or like... Or like pasture versus just straight up feed. A lot, actually, surprisingly. So I just they I have didn't... stuff bigger than ours. Well, there's like one person for like every million miles it seems in Australia, so. Yeah, but they have like one person. You have another twenty or thirty or forty different animals trying to kill you. Eh. I mean, it's like, kind of I mean, the kind of the same way in the United States, outside of cities. I mean, apologies to anyone, but I mean, that's meth heads and crackheads. But I mean, that's totally different. Well, I mean, we can include those trying to kill us too. I mean, I've had that yeah, happen once have... or twice. It's a story for another day. I mean, they run equipment like the Kelly Diamond Harrows and pickle chains, you know, with pickle chains and disc chains. Like, there was one video I saw. I don't know if it was a Burgo setup or a, a Seed Hawk, a Baderstad setup, but it had two. It was two of the 80 foot uh, toolbars put together that were running in tandem hmm. like yo so it's just a bigger version of everything that happens in Montana and Wyoming fair enough speaking of which just a few days till the next Yellowstone's show comes out I'll have something to watch again Monday night That or uh, Fire Country, that's a pretty good show, too. I might have to check that out. It's on. It's Param. Or it's like CBS. 
I think. It should probably be on Paramount Plus. Yes, that's how I watch it anyway. Oh, At least for okay. it to be, like, commercial free. But I think I've seen it on Hulu, too, so. Hmm. Squatch! Well, already we have all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend, we have all of that. I mean, we've got, like, Disney Plus, Paramount Plus. Of course, obviously, because of the kids, they love Disney and Nickelodeon. Yeah, that makes Netflix sense. Netflix and... I've got Tubi TV just so I could watch Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Squatch, I'm using a HyperX. A quadcast or whatever it's called. Oh, it's a fairly decent mic in my opinion. Sorry, I just want to answer his question. Oh yeah, I was... I was letting you respond to him because, I mean, it's... Squatch monkey. So, you know, not every day that he just. Yeah, I need. I need to like figure my settings out. Like, I know like there's a way not to be able to, like have the clicks, but I'm not completely sure how to. I can get them gone whenever I record a video. I'm just because I just haven't. Yeah, I, I have mine. Well, actually, mine's all the way up. Crap, but. And I have it. Oh. Yeah. Taylor, oh. Taylor showed up. Hey. Now he could be the victim. <laughs> nope. See you guys later. Okay, bye. He gone. I kind of forgot to unmute the diesel kid, so I feel bad for him now. What you guys been up to? Testing out a new map. Or looking at a new map. Interesting. Yeah. Unreleased map, so technically at the moment Actu it's open. It is okay. actually released. Oh, it is now? Yes. At least the itch link he sent me was public released. He was just needing some uh, hyping. Gotcha. Well, I'm just, like I said, I'm actually testing the map, and then like at the rate it's going, I'll probably make a post about it tomorrow on the mod site. But how's your mod uh, website doing? I haven't really checked in. Well, that. you know, whenever I'm busy for two weeks, that doesn't really help matters any. Yeah. <laughs> not much has happened the last two weeks on it but i'm trying to get right. it looped around have many people like ask like hey how can we like support it and stuff so i'm in the process of trying to get like a support page and donation page set up but if you're wanting to do a month a monthly donation then you can just subscribe to the two dollar patreon that's on my link on oh. lazy mode what are you doing, man? yeah yeah. So, it doesn't cost terribly much, but it's kind of nice to make some money back from it. So, right. Yeah. You know, it's like fifteen dollars for the domain and like eight dollars for hosting, and then it's like I don't know. I have the Google work or like the Google Suite thing, so that's like twelve bucks a month, which isn't terrible. It just helps oh, with smart. emails. Squatch said to hit you up in Discord sometime and let you know what he did. Perfect. Yeah, I'll have to make sure to do that. I've kind of messed around with the different options on it. I just haven't... I need to turn on the... Where I can hear myself and try to test it out. But right. I probably honestly need to drop the gain on the mic itself. And then just boost the gain for the output. I think that's what I need to do. I'm not used to having clicks and stuff, so most of the videos I can just edit it out fairly easy. But of course, we can also hear it through Discord too. So on occasion. Yeah, just Discord has like the thing where like if you're not actively talking, most time it'll like quiet you down, which is a bonus. Um. Just background noise suppression, so I don't see why it wouldn't be too hard to 
adjust that in audio settings elsewhere. Squatch, do you have the hyper or whatever? I can't. I think it's hyper. Um, the HyperX sound software on your PC. I have it downloaded. I just haven't. I don't know if I've not implemented it right or what, but it gives some weird wonky things sometimes. Taylor, congrats on a thousand members, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I still don't know We're how to freak. Uh, I don't know how you did that, like. <laughs> Uh, don't ask, but uh, we're officially a, a public Discord now, so anyone can search us up and find us. So, so we're, I'm very stoked about that, and I can't believe it. Cause like, to be honest, like it doesn't it, seem that anyone like anyone should be having this. That should be you. <laughs> I'll be honest about it, but I don't know how me and Drake did it. And y'all servers like not even that active. That's what gets me. It's like y'all have a thousand members, but like once a yeah. day I go check messages. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it, it's like a how. I mean, it, it's like, getting it's getting better. I will give it that. Like when you first added me to it or invited me to it, oh, I was like, we were, oh, this like, is rough. But yeah, not, I think it was what 150 members I invited you somewhere around in that. It was the very beginning. I don't, yeah. And the best part about it is the server's not even six months old. <laughs> I don't even think you it's know, what two months, three months. No, I, it's older than that. It's August, September, October. I feel like four months old. I feel like you might have like you know created a bot or something just to like. Nah, no. Added all the members then. Hey, what's it do? Does people get on Discord no more? Why am I in a Discord? I never do. <laughs> no, but it's it's nice. Definitely wish that you know. I'm not sure if I have time I to moderate like several servers of a thousand plus members. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is true. <laughs> I gotta think which one, because I'm only staffing like four. There's so many servers that I'm a moderator in that I just don't act like a moderator in because I just don't have time to look at everything constantly. <laughs> I mean, I honestly need more uh, people in my server moderating. Uh, I mean, there's just... The bots are getting so good anymore with moderating that, like... This is true. Even, like, Discord itself without any bots is actually getting fairly decent at it. Like, that's what I like about Discord, is, like, they, they're not stopping on development stuff. The only people I have for moderators in my uh, server would be uh, my good buddy Ryan, Shaven, uh, Delbert, you, John McFarlane, uh, JMF, and then that's it. JMF has a moderator. Yep. That's it. That's it. Well, actually, technically, he is in uh, Tyson. He is. Uh, I know. MRM. It's it's hilarious. He is in oh, Tyson. Is, and in is there something wrong with that or something? No, he's I just no. He's just not like the type of person you'd see as a moderator. <laughs> I mean, you don't, you wouldn't see me as a moderator, but well, yeah, you kind of own the channel, so true. I'm, I'm a moderator in here. I don't do much. I mean, I post a bunch of screenshots, and that's about it. I mean, there's, there's like, a few of us that, like, are very, I would say, moderator-worthy. But, like, there's some, like, I, I was like, you know, this is just for show. Like, they're, they're more into it for the drama than anything, which I ain't gonna stop them. I really, I'm fairly relaxed. Like, just don't start stupid crap and be golden, but. Once you do My something, friend did not think you were going to do that, but okay. Do what? Nothing. Oh, Taylor I'll be just went you. full Taylor. <laughs> I've been full Taylor. What are you talking about? Uh, Squatch, I am on with uh, 
Taylor and uh, Rainy. Yes, and... Squatch should join my Discord so he can moderate and watch little people <laughs> who probably way under Discord TOS fight about what mod is what mod and who made it and is it better or bad. We we got yeah. we had to put up. Oh with no. Um, Did anything happen, like, into your server, like, something posted? Uh, I don't think so. Because apparently I got hacked. And all the servers, almost all my servers have been kicked because of, uh... I got hacked and apparently, um, nudes were sent into Discord servers that I never hey, did. on stream. Yeah, easy. Oh. Sorry. You're good. Um, what was your... Uh, I was going to say, I've I seen it in a different server. I didn't see it in... I was just seeing if it was in this one. So. Yeah, I don't... What was the other name that you went by? So, thank you. No problem. Okay, that was... Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought that was a. Squatch said it. <laughs> Squatch said it. I'm out of public discords. Like, oh, that's great. like I said, completely a moderator. <laughs> Come on, Squatch. Can't hide forever. He's he's in here. I'm pretty sure. I can just drag him over and make him join the channel. We had. Several, uh, we had some pretty fun times when we were working on the Kinsey planners. Uh, the ones Pleasant did. Oh, yeah. It was originally my project, but I really didn't care if he released it or not, so I told him to go ahead with it. And then, you know, we stayed up a little bit trying to figure out how to fix them. We got it out. Squatch, Squatch is a good dude. I mostly just sit back and watch Squatch do his thing. <laughs> Squatch certainly does his thing. You know, maybe if we keep That's talking cool. about it, maybe he'll show up. Maybe I mean, his ear, maybe his ears start will start burning. Doing some weird things to summon him or something. Get him in there. <laughs> his ears are just gonna start burning. Hmm. But I think I beat him on preview in this map, though. What's the disc coordinate? It is That's... my my channel. Jeez. Oh. Come on, man. Why you gotta do lazy like that? <laughs> you need to start putting your Discord in the description. I did that for a little bit, but then no one clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> and, it and and everyone kept asking, "What's the Discord link?" I would be like the description. No one, no one would use it. So I just gave up trying to remember to copy it over. Or put it in chat or something like pin chat. I just did. I did. Hey, what's going on, guys? Not busy. much. <laughs> I don't. I haven't <laughs> seen a post yet. So. I mean, I I can Give pin it, it once I see it, but. Give it a second. That he's slow at joining. Slow at joining. Since he said that, I'm, I'm just gonna make a little roast real quick. Why Squatch Monkey? Why not Sloth Monkey? <laughs> oh no. I you messed up just... now. <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Ron. <laughs> my, name, my, my name's Aaron. <laughs> It'd be, not, it'd be better if we didn't do that. I'd probably get banned pretty quickly. <laughs> Why do you think I just stopped it there? Let's <laughs> <That's> now. <laughs> oh, wonderful quality of a stream tonight. How the freak did I just go from one notification to four? Who the freak pinned me everywhere? Oh, it was you. Me. How's your guys' this night going? 
it's it's going. It's kind of been a busy week, so. Yes. Yeah. Next week's I'm dead. Happy. Next week's dead's a week, which means it's actually not a dead week. It just makes everything more of a nightmare. Yeah, what are you talking about? College. Oh, you go back or? I'm already back. I'm started. sorry to hear that. I'm sorry so, that you yeah. have to suffer. Yeah. Dead. For all you ones that are listening that are heading to college, or they said dead week. Oh, no. Don't don't be thinking that you're not gonna do anything. Dead week is meaning where you're you're personally like dead of trying to do stuff. Not. You mean actually. unalive? You mean unalive? Yeah, not not participating in life anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you should do that like every day, and then it's so cool and fun and so joyful. Still no notification. Our sloth monkey has joined. Oh uh, yeah, don't trust don't trust me around with. For farming simulator mods anymore. I, I got bored and made a literal freaking tornado. Nope. I'm waiting on you, Squatch. Actually, I don't even know if they were posted a link or not, so. Oh, you did. I posted it in the YouTube chat. Are you sure about that? Uh, no, he didn't. I don't see it. Because I do not see it. Because <laughs> I was I'll, I'll, I DM'd. Oh, no, I sent him. First Jim Cummins. Uh, in other words, Taylor messed up. Once again, you done yeah, messed up, A.A. Ron. There. Um, A.A. Ron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I sent Squatch a Discord thing. Okay, well, now it's pinned on the freaking chat, so at least it got done well, finally. Jeez, moderators. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's right, because I can't post hey. links in there, because you have some type of thing where I'm no longer an admin on YouTube. You, I'm not even you never, and I posted an invite link. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, you're, you're, you're not an... I don't think Look, I, I... I don't know if I have a moderator on YouTube, to be honest. I think I just do it myself. You're a moderator in the Discord. I just haven't I set it up from... There he is. Mike's made it now. <laughs> hey, he's alive. It just took him like three hours to click yeah. a link. I told you, I'm slow. <laughs> he, he's a sloth, guys. He's cool. No, I'm not a sloth. It's just a matter of being busy. Very busy. Busy adding crops and Multi-angle train to every map he sees. Yeah. This man would probably go on the new um, logging map, cut down every tree, grind the stumps, and make a field out of it or something. Who doesn't? Uh, I do that all the time. No way, bro. I don't have on the that silver much time. I just go in and click the transform group of trees and, <laughs> and drag them. Nah, there you go. Yeah, he 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 does the farm sim modder type logging. <laughs> I have what the heck happened? And instead of instead of like kill them all by, uh, you know, Metallica, just uh, <laughs> delete them all. <laughs> I had two squatch. I'm oh, sorry. I wish, I wish I had a way we could just do just normal music on YouTube. Just to add those clips in. Well, I mean, your your streams are basically like Tyson's, a podcast with a little bit of farm sim. Yeah, for the especially most part. when me and Taylor show up. But podcasts aren't as fun to do. What's that supposed to mean? Randy? I've done a I've done a few in my life before, so. Because we're the comedic relief, Taylor. Oh God. I don't like when this is going. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's straight facts. Is it really? Yes. <laughs> I don't think so. Taylor okay. sees the darkness at the end of the tunnel. 
Yet I'm like being what? deposited. There's light in the tunnel now? Darkness in the you tunnel. Don't lick the windows. What did I just do to like you completely don't. change the color of this game? Holy crap. Do you have relight and all that stuff? It's in there. Automatic. Yeah, yeah the map it's is built already. in with it. Hmm. What map are you running right now? Chili Whack British Columbia. I'm actually yeah. kinda I'm actually kinda reviewing it. Did you did you really just ask if it was an American map? I sure did. Okay. Taylor. Never made it out of sixth grade. <laughs> North Carolina. It's in its name, man. Somebody, somebody, well, how'd you just hand him out? his oh, crayons yeah, and his cool. helmet, please. Dude, I have a huge crack in my helmet. No, it doesn't. One thing. One thing. Yeah, if I actually had the. He needs a piece of paper to draw on. Okay. Otherwise, he's gonna eat the crayon. <laughs> oh, but he's gonna eat Dude, the paper too. Purple colors are the best one. Does it actually taste like purple? If I didn't have a life, I a would bit. make. I would make um. What do you call it? A. Uh, um. Like a 32x map or whatever. No, you wouldn't. And the Wasn't game just crashed because you can't run it. Yeah. Oh, I can run it. I can run them perfectly fine. You know that Spring Creek map? Yeah. That thing runs like a dream on my computer. Isn't it like a yeah. 12 by 12 supposedly? Uh, 12 kilometer by 12 kilometer, and yes, it is. When you, when you load it up in GE, you have to run a special script that tells GE, uh, load this. It's fun. It, but it, 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 the, it, it, don't get me wrong. I like the big maps. What drives me nuts is that you're stretching it so much that you have to, or you have to deal with the block image. So the rooms yeah. are blocky, the crops are blocky, and everything. That's yeah. why I don't like to go over a 4x. Yeah. For me, <laughs> that map actually turned out really nice. Like when I was playing on it, like I ran it on a Deddy, and it is nice for Deddies because it's so big. So you can have like, if you have a yeah. 16x, not 16x, but 16 slot, each person could have a farm if they wanted to, and not like absolutely lag your server out since it doesn't render in. That's why I wouldn't go. Um, that's exactly why I go bigger than a 4x. It's just for a server. There's no other reason, really. Otherwise, you're kind of like. Oh, hey, the best thing is. When I, when I was running that on my server, my semi was just completely broken since I had a mod in where you had to like repair it. My semi was just broken down somewhere and I never got to getting it going again. And I, I was driving my harvester at a whopping 19 miles an hour from the bottom of the map to the top of the map. That good took me a good actual half an hour in real life to get up to my farm i got i got one thing for you auto drive oh no yeah. I, I just i was in a very straight road so i just turned on cruise control and i just started staring at my phone and my friend was in a truck behind me and he was actually paying attention to the road and i just he'd just tell me when to correct myself before i ran off the road and hit somebody uh, honestly kevin uh they do not teach us crap about canada when i went to school in I'm actually pretty old, so get a I'm geography, get a geography minor like me, and you learn a little bit. <laughs> or, I ran any that should you the square buddy yet? Or be like Taylor and just not know anything. Did somebody say square buddy? Yeah, I heard square buddy. Square buddy. I heard square buddy. I don't know. Squatch, have you loaded this map up yet to look at it? Nope. So, this map, I, I dead straight believe, could honestly be one of the best ones in FS so far. We talk, talking like, about Med Creek's best. Like, there's, there's no errors on this map at all. Like, and it runs at a solid 60 on my computer. Like, it is just... I don't know who well, this guy is, this but day. who's the creator? But he doesn't know who Chub it is. It's Chubby Chum Chummy Farmer. Yeah, Chumpy Farmer. Let me look up. Is it on the official mod? No. No. It's why would it be a? Okay, why would it be a four X and be on the mod hub? Because there's four X's on the mod hub. Yeah, I mean, this, I get Clarkson. This man literally does not exist if you look him up, because I know some yeah. modders like. 
Like, like if I, I say, I... oh, you, you guys are hurting my brain. I can't. Do this Unless he goes by like, does like that thing that Dairy Deer does. <laughs> Maybe. Like literally, I well, farms. his itch and the name he sent me to go by was literally Chumpy Farms. Like for me, like if I type in DTG six one six and literally Google, my itch pops up, my Facebook pops up, and then all my releases on itch like pop up like individual links for like my most popular things people downloaded, I guess. And then you get the occasional random websites like Russian websites that the bots re-uploaded to. Hmm. You gotta start paying Google. Push the Guys, I have to first. do some people. Oh, I don't have to pay Google. All my stuff's on top. Oh, lucky you. Or you just learn how to work the websites well, and it helps too. Yeah, see, I, I was old. Uh, I got into the point of computers. You learn how to type. You gotta pass a certain words per minute, and you're done. They never did anything more. <laughs> This Squatch achieved like 10 words a minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally <laughs> pecking at the keyboard. <laughs> My fingers Man, don't work. You know, you're like, the, like the old joystick that used to be in the middle of uh, ThinkPad computers? Oh, okay. A little rubber. That's probably like the mouse oh, yes. that Squatch uses. You guys like talking about Typhon Claw? Uh, it was literally 8th grade they taught us and and when I got into high school, I got to pick all my classes, and I'm like, ah, oh god, computer for what? Oh, I got I was gonna... banned from taking that online. <laughs> we don't want to know why. Yeah, I, I got a just, feeling this is fixing to go just, south. Just keep that in uh, your uh, private server over there. I, I threw the keyboard across hey, the room. Hey, oh, okay, that's a better reason I was thinking of. <laughs> okay, so, so physical I... violence, okay. That works for I, us. I, mean, I, hit, I hit the kid. I'm on to Okay, just stop. <laughs> just stop. Just he's, stop. He's just like incriminating himself by the second. The police I are mean, about to I'm knock on your door in a few seconds here. I now. can re I can reenact it. Don't. Brandon, he just reenacts it on himself. No, that would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't no fun. He's, he's about as bright as a burnout light bulb. <laughs> Right. I don't know oh, why man. I feel like it, but I feel like I'm trying my luck at the original UMRP map, like the original FS17. What converting it? Yeah, oh, since I'm be, be, no, I'm a, be better than anything DJ comes out with. Yeah. He ruined that map. Yeah, he I'm did. That's, that's sorry. Why, like I sorry, you know I I gotta go there. Yeah, I know it's. That map was I, amazing I, in seventeen. That's why I'm. That's why I'm going from seventeen to twenty-two. It. I, I've I'm experienced with map converting since I can knock out a map. In I'm pretty a sure he days. just released it like the last day or so. Did you check this? Yeah, I think I think he dropped the URMV map. At least from released, yeah. or the comments on my Facebook post anyway. I have a version of it I did a long time ago, like the beginning of the game. That in uh, FS oh God. Club, I think, posted something about it, possibly. Mm. Oh, jeez. The, the, he's um, changed too much of it. I literally look across. Or I literally. Uh, what, am I 20 minutes there's away a from that area? There's a couple things that need to be changed, like the town maybe finding some similar buildings that not just like the blocky texture ones. And replacing them with like if you go on Google Street View and trying to find something like the real ones. You mean They're pulling like an Google auction Street oxygen David, how he does his? Yeah. Dude, I don't know if you all seen his post the other day. But like he literally rebuilt like ten different buildings from Street View. So it, it looks I identical. Haven't, I haven't mentioned Honestly? anything about Oxy in a long while speaking of is I anyone good with? Is anyone good with like the fruit types thing, like uh, how to change color, like an individual color, by clicking on it and selecting all the colors? So I'm horrible at that. 
that's the one thing I struggle at, but either, like, I don't know why I am. What, are you, like, talking about, like, making, like, the... Fruit types, you know how fruit types, they have their little fancy colors for grass. Um, oh, yeah. 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 I, don't know. I hated that part of map making. That was the most painfulest. Did you ever finish that map? What, Luray? It's yeah. getting there. I I got the roads done the other day, but like part I wasn't exactly sure how to actually do it. So roads. it took me it took me a hot minute to get it in the blender fully rendered because it's like five million poly or something the train was. So uh, I still need to learn how to add the train. It's or a pain in the pain. butt. <laughs> if a train is already on a map, how painful is it? To export out of the map? Or like to... if you already have like all the lines for the adding trains, or would that just be easier to look up a YouTube video on? What, how to add a train to a map? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's easy. You just place the tracks down by spline. The train runs on a spline just like yeah. the track does. Okay, yeah, that's extremely easy that, then. That's... that's something I know how to do. Honestly, so I haven't hard. even done any map building in 22 yet. Also, oh, literally only edited freaking... it. Another, another shout out to this uh, Chumpley Farms. Is, he's got a working train on here too. So Nice. Yeah, I, I, he's day, pulled like... out like every stop on this thing. Like... I'm just like amazed like yeah what do you call it uh, one thing I wish is um gosh, crap what is it gonna say I don't remember yeah I don't remember what I was gonna say it's kind of one of these days I get ready to say something I forget it's... one of these huh? what brain work I, I've just been busy today like I had to move up nine welders booths and then Basketball crap and then other things. I've just been busy. It's, yeah, so I have as oh, so I have a lot of people. Mm. Compared to what happened to me yesterday, I actually gave myself a concussion at work. You're not supposed to do that, Rainy. Yeah, Rainy. I know that no, comes natural to you, but you're not supposed to do that. Well, I was and working I on a pickup that, that had a uh, ladder rack on it, and yeah. I can't even do that. I don't know how you did that. I hit my head so hard, my whole right eye just went blurry, just completely. Like, I couldn't see out of my right eye at all. You should probably stop doing that. <laughs> so, top flair said... Larray doesn't need a train. Our tracks were pulled out after flood of '93. Is there? Is there? I think there's still tracks down by the co-op, from what I remember looking from Google. But I, you can build your farm anywhere you want on here, but I don't know how they feel about this. <laughs> Or what are you talking about, Squatch? Map. I'm on the same one you Oh. Honestly, I think you can just start about, like, anywhere and just go with it. <laughs> oh crap. Alright, guys. I want to go eat my crayons. Um, okay. Maybe tomorrow? We'll see. Yeah. Alright. Hey, sir. Peace. Hey, Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I mean, I haven't really ventured much from, like, the area you spawn at, but, like, fairly impressed with it so far. Oh, yeah, the Rebecca Is it sad if I got lost on a map in Farming Simulator? Like, that stupid Spring Creek map, like, when you have a ton of people on your server. I got lost. I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Like, I was, there's, like, I was trying to get drop off like grain to somebody that paid me, since we had the invoice crap in there, and it, it was it was just hilarious. I, I just kept getting lost, like I didn't know where to go. It was kind of sad, honestly. I was just like, it, it it took me a solid twenty minutes to figure out where in the heck to go. 
while I have someone from Loray here, I am going to load up the town and look at it. Finally, someone made a new template for uh, FS. Template? Like the template map for stuff. Oh. You mean it's starting? Oh, uh, basically like a 4x that has nothing on it. You mean Sorry. a blank 4x? Yeah. Yeah, but I pulled the file sizes, alright? Oops, that was way off. Oh, there's one on the official mod hub. Oh. There is, oh. actually. Yeah. There's like two or three. There's like two or three different blank maps. I think there's like a 1x, a 2x, and a 4x, I think. Okay. Yep, I was wrong. There is no train tracks on the ray. You can tell right where it went, but there is no train tracks. I'm kind of ashamed of myself. I haven't loaded farm sim yet. I'm way behind, boys. You poor guy. I know. I know. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Turtle Beach has a nice uh, joystick, but it's really only set up for flight now. Oh yeah, you know that sim dashboard program? It's kind of cool. I splurged and paid the ten bucks for it, so for the pro. I don't, I don't have an Android tablet, so. One thing I've seen people do is like if they have like an old Kindle sitting around, they literally just turn that to their Android ta uh, tablet, because you can, I guess, you can root those things and flash a custom version of Android on it. Yeah, actually, you can. I forgot how well um, the co-op building I've actually built on the map, or the convenience store on the map, actually looks like <laughs> in real life. Like, it looks identical. I also got propane delivery on here. Ooh. And that might get Squatch's attention. Strickland propane and propane accessories. Oh, they got... The map you're streaming or the map on... Uh, the map I'm working on, if I ever get it finished. They also have, like, a little nitrous sail point. <laughs> I'm, Punch it. Yeah, uh, it's, I'm just watching it on YouTube, right? Or, I'm just going about the ray on the stream right now. The, uh, yeah, I'm watching the stream. Yeah. The map edit that I have of Hannah has uh, dry corn and, and hydrous. Of course, that's base map. Not base game, but base map for Hannah. And then and it's you, got... you use the dry corn add on? No, actually. That's in game mod hub. Literally adds dry corn, propane, and all that to any map, but I've been having struggles with it adding itself for dry corn. I honestly See. straight up think it's just easier to add it directly at this point. Yeah, that's what the guy that I that is working on it did. Like I've been trying to bust my butt trying to get like maps set up for like Maze Plus, and I just haven't yet to get it. Because he's he, the guy, uh, backwoods modding and mapping is wanting to edit Hannah to where it has the NPK and all that good stuff. So, I think I think that's gonna that'd be pretty cool. The it's odds are, the, the it's odds are. It's simple to add all that stuff in. It's just getting it to work right with the other mods. Yeah. Yeah, and, and of course the odds are of that map edit ever seeing the light of the public is very slim to none. I wish there was actually like a really nice Midwestern map to come out. Like, um, something not like Midwest Horizons, but something like, uh, what, what would it be? Like a really detailed Iowa map. <laughs> Iowa, what is it? Iowa, I, I get that this one is a mod hub map, but it's, what yeah. is it called? Iowa Plains Valley or something like that? It's actually really, really nice. The modder that did that, he has absolutely just caught fire. Like, I mean, he has been dropping some pretty good looking stuff. 
I mean, I'll be honest. It represents Iowa to a point. I didn't like it when I first loaded into it the very first time it was on Mod Hub. If he changed around his buildings and everything, like the post I see and all that, then yeah, I'll probably be all over it. But when I loaded into it, I'm like, ah, the buildings are face game and stuff. It just took away from Iowa so much. Well, it's just a pain with buildings and Mod Hub. So. Oh, I fully agree. You got to make them yourself or yeah. you're done. Giants is. Yeah. They're picky. They just want to be picky. Also, Squatch, have you kept up with uh, Legacy on those molasses bins? He's trying, man. <laughs> um, literally what the guys just said is Giants are being very, very of, picky. Of and course he's they are. new errors every time he submits it, even though he just picks his little ones they sent. I don't, I don't know how there can be, like, issues. Like, that is a fairly straightforward... <laughs> It's giants. Mm -hmm. So, like, like, he said he was going to send the script over to me so I can put it on the building once he gets it passed. So, I just haven't talked Fair. to him in the last three weeks or so. I haven't He's seen much from... I, a I was going to oh, yeah, say, I... I haven't seen much on Facebook from him lately. And I no, keep close... No. Clo Say I suspected it was personal life. Yeah. Because I mean, you know, I, I keep up with you and with Lazy and because I handle. Uh, I'm a social media coordinator for a, a outfit. Mm -hmm. And I I keep tabs on literally almost everybody in the community that I best that I can. You know, have you even gone to Lazy? Have you even gone to the center um, co-op cell point thing? On the map? Yeah. No. It's kind of neat. He's got two bends being built. Is I, that um, is that like by field one fifty six? Uh. Uh. By any chance, would anyone yep. does anyone good with gravel? Gravel. Like, uh, FS is gravel. Like, when you try to get a gravel to go on a map, that's the one thing I've always had issues with. I don't know it's be if it's because I run custom textures or if it's because something else. You just well, you need to paint it. So you have it in GE, correct? Oh, I'm talking about, like, like uh, if you copy and paste over the gravel file. But are you looking to paint it in game? Oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not painting it. Um, GE, like, uh, get it to load, like, if you open the i3D for your map you're working on. Well, you should be able, does... you should be able to add, like, custom paint types, and you, you can, can, like, yeah. load in all the, all the files and stuff for it. Because mm -hmm. my can problem do is... that, or the easiest way is my... just replace the name for the Oh, yeah, gravel. I know, that's, that's my problem is, I put it as gravel underscore, or gravel 01 underscore weight, blah, 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 the typical stuff. And it doesn't even load it in on the thing. Is it the correct size and format? Uh, it is 124 by 124. Let me look at some random other one. Did it have the gravel to start with? Oh, it's it's 248 by 248, Hunter. Um, um, are you stealing it off another map? Yeah. Or... I'm stealing okay. it. So you're going to have to. God, where was that? You're going to make me fire up GE. <laughs> um, this is going to work. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to absolutely dick this up if I resize it. Yeah, something to write on. Back. Squatch won't repeat it twice. <laughs> If my gravel works now, because I've changed the size. Which I doubt size really does anything for the, the literal texture since the game usually auto upscales that stuff, I've noticed. And of course it is crashing now. Why would it? Hard rip. Did oh, your I don't... map have the gravel added beforehand anyway? No, I didn't have any gravel on the map before. You might have to add it. Well, if you were able to replace the 
textures. Like the, uh, all the other textures work perfectly fine. Are you? Yeah. So what I'm thinking is you got to go into your map through Notepad plus plus, search for the gravel, and change it to the new file path first. Now that I'm finally in GE, give me a second. File. Oh, I'm stupid. I accidentally deleted the fucking. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, accidentally deleted the <laughs> fruit type. Which I would entirely do it, and then. Yeah. Well, that will change a bunch of things. I just. I had my typical brain fart of the night and did something. Alright, so. If you would go into GE, click on your terrain and scene graph, then in the attributes tab, you know where the transform numbers are. Yeah. Are. Click on the tab of ter terrain. Then at the very bottom, you got three little dots on layer manager. And this is where it is saying it's pulling the files from. This is the easy way. Is it the transform and then you go to terrain layer manager? Mm -hmm. right. And you open that up and you can add layers if you really want to, or you could just go up to like gravel. Oh, one. Pull out the fuse to whatever you want it to be. And then... Oh, my problem is actually getting the gravel to properly, like, show up on the map. Like, it will not... Like, uh, say, um... What's your file path for the fuse gravel O one one in their manager? Give me five million years. I have to get down to the ground since... Um, train gravel would be um, library steam apps common farming simulator 22 maps fr textures terrain gravel one diffuse png um, train tra gravel blah 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 do you have any bases uh, I have the name, the fuse, normal, which they all look in order when I double click on them. Um, the weight looks normal, which it's not popping up. Should I try like painting it itself if I load up the terrain editor real quick and see if I can actually paint like gravel? Oh, uh, yeah, I would because it sounds like it's in there, correct? I just. Yeah, it's not even painting gravel, that's my problem. Um, you got your console open on the bottom? Yeah. Um... Right there. Okay, train weight. Yep. These are just screaming about sizes on everything else that works. Concrete tiles works. Why is it streaming that 124 has to be used for all of them? Because it does. You're, um... Did you mess with those textures at all from the other map? No. Is it a trusted modder from the other map? Yeah, it's uh, OG UMRV. That's why. Right. I have to bump up the textures to. No, you gotta 20. completely redo them for 22. Uh oh. Those will not work in 22. Alright. So, with that being said, you can go through their texture um, creator thing that Johnny says. <laughs> not promising Where's... it's gonna work, but it's <laughs> good. Where's their. Is it on their GDN website? Yeah, um, Madi. Hold up. So that, that is a love-hate relationship on that thing. <laughs> I know. Right. Oh, where is it? Giant's texture tool. Yes. I'm the super. Download that. Follow through the instructions. Read through it. Your best bet is to create a whole different folder with other folders inside of it with those textures. You can slap 
all of them in there together and do it all at once and it should spit something good out or uh, just do your diffuse and use giants like normals and everything oh god my eyes but the thing is that you're missing on those textures is the alpha which makes it look like the rock is a real rock oh no th I'll show you the thing I'm trying to get over I'm not having anything like with alpha I'm most I'm having is uh, it's one of these oh no yeah all right so what you it's can't do properly. you can't no you can't you can't convert those over you have to overlay it from one of the images from 22 My oh suggestion yeah Oh. Is GIMP? You using GIMP? I can use GIMP. I can use really no, anything. Use Paint.net because it won't save the settings when you open it. So, um, okay, essentially, GIMP. what you want to do is open GIMP, open what that same weight file from 4x on 22. Let me just. Do I get a? Yeah. So, sorry fine. About that. It gives me a break, so. It gives you a break from ta talking, and then if people have trouble, they can just randomly tune into the stream. Like, yeah. Gosh, dang, I'll, just, I'll just cut the stream down into different clips for random help. Yeah. Don't ask why I have my brush so ginormous. Why do you All have right, your brush so, so ginormous? The thing with uh, these files, pulling from 17 to 22, you're going to want the same design on there, but you're not going to want all the settings from 17. So your best bet is to bring that texture in, overlay it in this one, right. and uh, hopefully it saves under the right. And then um, I have to scale this up. <laughs> uh, no, you control shift R. Nope, I can't remember what it is. You have to actually like type this, in here. Yeah. There. Yep. Scale that up. Forty-eight. Yeah, twenty-eight. Readjust. Hmm. No, that's gonna rotate. Go back. Get out of right. that. Yep, go up to layers. Uh, uh where'd it go? Up. Scale oh, layer. Scale layer, yep. Scale. And now save this and see if it works. No. File, export. Oh, yeah, because they're. I forget. Um. GIMP is one of these programs where you have to do that. I hate you, GIMP, sometimes. Welcome to graphic creation. All all premium softwares like that are do the same thing. I love GIMP so much. Sometimes. Click faster. I was trying to remember exactly where I put it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's been so long since <laughs> I've done this. I gotta remember. Um, go to automatic pixel format. Click uh, down on it once. Let me see what's in there. Oh, right Good. there. That's what it is. Um, 8 bit. Uh, uh, this is. Uh, you want the G R A Y A. No, uh, gray A. That. A. That is the alpha. Okay. Export now? Yep. And then the other thing you can do, rather than worrying about loading the map all the time, is. Yeah. Click and reload. A, no, just pull up a, a brand new GE. Put. Uh, you create a cube in it. 
and slap that texture to it and it kind of tells you here and there what's wrong with it and how it needs to be. Give me a second, I'm still putting this and then going in like this. Ew. Is that supposed to be a PNG or a GRLD? PNG. Also, it crashes whenever you open it with a cube. That's probably no bueno. Oh, crap. You didn't select the other layer, did you? Hmm. Select this layer? Or do I just need yeah. to flatten it? I would flatten it, but flatten it based off of the bottom layer. You want that... Hmm. Uh, what the hell do I... Should maybe a merge down option somewhere? What? Merge visible layers? Yeah. At least it saves the location it goes to. Is there anything like, do I have to turn down compression level or anything? I don't think so. I, got, I can't remember. Just make sure there's like... Oh. Yeah. Just make sure you got a couple backups. Oh, I don't need backups my freaking gravel because as is, it's not working. Camera, why can't you go any faster? Plus button. Plus button. Oh. Uh, plus, plus, plus. Uh, numpad plus? Yes, numpad yeah. plus. Numpad plus and minus will adjust your translation speed for your camera. And it is a lifesaver. Oh, God. It's, spo it's supposed to put gravel down here. Try painting it. Um, did you get the right RGB colors to put down where the gravel is supposed to be? RGB colors? What you mean by that? Go back to GIMP. Uh, grab your little eye droplet thing and bring up the color scale. Eye droplet. Sorry, I'm blind. It's... I don't like GIMP, so I don't... Me um, neither. On the left. Despise the little magnifying okay. glass. Color picker. Uh, pick a... Pick a color. Ooh. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I know. Zoom back in. No, zoom back in. I forget with GIMP. I'm used to like paint that now where you can't. Unrotate. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to do that. Sorry. Is it shift? I can't remember, but you need to zoom back in because it might not even gonna work to transfer these files from 17 to the multi analyzing is. Not yeah, this thing work. has an alpha on it. Great alpha. Go back. Lord, help. Lord help me. You gotta go in. You see how the colors are blended there? Yeah. They can't be blended. So either need you need to fill up with your bucket and turn the threshold up to get rid of a few of those lines or fill on the white and turn your threshold up but that right there is your RGB colors yeah I've most of this with grass and all that stuff I'm still not really good with it all I know is uh, do I have a bookmark but what I I'm saying what is do. you gotta convert you gotta take one of giants Figure out what the RGB is for that gravel, or one, and then paint that onto yours. That's why it's not correctly translating. Because if you go back into GE, you already have that spot painted, it's just a different paint. So you're basically just saying, go in here and click mash G to find gravel. Open it up and gimp yeah, and see what they're... Alright, so... Yep, that's what you want to do. You want to 
pick that little point. Get rid of your RGB codes, maybe? I don't know. I love giants so freaking much, I can't tell. I guess that works, so I... Just open up new and then drag yours in. Okay. Oh yeah, because I forget GIMP is... Alright. And now I go to I drop it. Click that. Mm -hmm. Now where's your RGB? How'd you bring that little wheel up thing? You see, I, I'm so like good with GIMP that I don't even freaking remember. Hmm, me neither. Anybody else here know GIMP? No Photoshop, not Never yet. Mind. There it is. Alright, so go back to your other image. Click on the giant's image. Click on that. Make sure Perfect. it doesn't change or anything. Now go so to the black. Like that, go put that. Now you know it's the same. Now go back to your other image. Make sure that stays the same. Now fuck it, Phil. Where's your threshold? Under this threshold one. Yep, you're good. So go in. Zoom way in before you click that. Now you're gonna want to make sure those blurs go away. Ah, uh, so you're basically just uh, I know what to do. It's multi antalyzed Where's it at? Probably tool somewhere. Selection by color. You can. Nah, I wouldn't necessarily. Do that. And then you turn up the threshold like crazy. No, yep. you don't want to do that. You're not getting rid of the players. So, yeah. go to your bucket fill, fill it in, turn your threshold up when you fill it. Okay, well, let me just... Let me just deselect this. Because there's sometimes you have to put that. Bucket fill, what should the threshold be at? Like... Well, click on it. Zoom way in, click on it, you should be able to watch it move as you turn the threshold up. Now turn your threshold up. Was it that close? Four. You got an undo button. Huh? Keep going. I'd go up to like 10 or 15 before. Oh, Jesus. Figure out where it's gonna move. Oh, jeez. Goes up to 300. Go up a ways. Oop. Yep. See, it's not know? doing anything. Yeah. Are you painting on the wrong layer? No, they're both merged. Never mind, I can't fill right now. I can't fill that. Oh, you figure that one out. It'll be pretty well put then. But yeah, that's, I... that's your issue, issue, is the RGB wasn't matching, and with the multi antalyzing on, it blurs like that, so GE doesn't know what to put Wait a on. second. Wait a blurs. second. Can I just technically grab a new layer and only select it? Oh, never mind, this isn't um, a pantry with uh, no background crap. I know there's You're... some tool. I know there's a tool that auto like grabs all the freaking components or color. But it will never be right because you're gonna. It's so blurred there. I know there's literally uh there's something that like finds one color and you can keep cranking it up and it'll. It, it's it's fancy. I've seen people use it before, I just don't remember what it is. Information web, noise. Little selection tools. There you go, you got a oh, half an hour of my knowledge now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh I'm gonna kick you in the net. All the old fields are harvested. Okay, yeah, it's not letting me bucket fill right now. Fill whole section. Gimp, why are you being a pain? Do any of you guys know how to make the game hold your settings? So when you start a new map, it never goes back to the default settings. Nope. I wish. I figured out my issue. What? 
my thing's being a little nuisance. Well, a thing doesn't pinpoint what you're talking about. Kind of uh, it, it's basically I have everything selected. It's just gimp's being gimp, and it's not filling. Hmm. Yeah. I love you so much. So what you can do is go into paint.net, do it all through paint.net, save it, open that image up in GIMP, and then just yeah. export it under those um, settings exactly. that I told you. Yep. But the one from Notepad plus, er, excuse me, from paint.net does not work. I struggled like no other trying to get my textures to work with paint.net. Yeah. Kind of I'm, I'm really good with paint.net, it's my problem. Oh, well, paint.net isn't, it's not the most amazing thing for this stuff. It isn't, but I know how to run it, unlike you. The thing I, like, the thing I love about paint.net is too, it has this like little auto selection tool as well. Like I can just crank my freaking tolerance and I'm, I'm good. I just crank it before it starts like selecting everything. And then... I also open another layer, which is the actual Giants one, wherever that one is. Lazy, are you going to do a preview video on this map? I thought about it since I was going to feature it on my mod site, but I need to do a little bit more exploring on it. Or were, uh, were you planning on it? No. I but I just don't know how I feel about this. Well, uh, it's kind of my play style because like I generally start just like to build my own stuff up. Which credit I got the whole um, start and spring mod. Yeah. Which honestly, in my opinion, is a lifesaver. But the thing I hate about freaking paint.net sometimes is when you paint, it's not like yeah, port paints everything perfect. It only paints freaking. So you have to check over once or twice. Um, I did watch Artsy's uh, video on this map before. It's actually, i seen it on Itch.io and I did click on it. And then I watched his video and I'm like, okay, it's worth a shot. But the one thing I didn't see on his video was going over like farmlands. So that would be a good one. Touch, like, oh God. Now all you said is I just have are to you, Are you referring to how many farmlands there are? Uh, yeah, there's like what? 160 or 191, I think. Yeah, I see 191 too. That's kind of nifty though. He broke it down really good. He did. Except for the prices. <laughs> it's, it's rather Real steep. Different. The I'm price. gonna hurt somebody if it has something to do with my custom gravel texture that I have for FS. But like, yeah, it was like 30, 36 for a haker. I just wish it would be acres, not Yeah, my hakers. gravel's still not working. I'm gonna verify my game files real quick. No, I, I might, I might see if I got time tomorrow to put one together. We'll see. I need to do a little bit more exploring around the map. I probably need to f watch this video to. He didn't do a whole lot of ex He didn't do a whole lot around it. He really went up just to about the center, go uh, from start point to about up that right side center back down i mean there's not a whole lot to like go over because i wish you would have done the pda image underneath i wish it would have been done from giants or the game rather than the satellite because it shows how much it's missing but at the same time you can't put all that stuff in and expect the game to work. how do you even get a good pda image from ge you don't do it or you create a camera in GE, zoom it all the way up so your map is uh, completely covering the main screen in GE. Then when you're in the game, I think it's F7, you have to do a couple cameras. 
Yeah. Get to that camera, you'll find it the perfect image of your map. Snap it, Photoshop it. Yeah, that's actually really oh, I think I think mine turned out fairly decent on my lower APA. I think. Did you do satellite or? I, I did satellite, but I got it to line up where it looks really good. Plus, yeah. there's not, like, a whole lot out there anyway. I'll let's see if I can't find it. Some people, like, if you're going off a satellite and you're going satellite picture perfect, like, perfect, perfect map, sometimes that works really well. Oh, that, and, uh, I did, so you know, like, how you, like, get the dim, um, information and then, like, put it all together? That's actually yeah. how I did the, uh, PDA. So like it's like a, it's like a twelve k. <laughs> Image. Yeah. So it's actually. Is it overview. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's an actual useful mod now for, uh, like multiplayer servers. If you're doing anything, you can transfer ownership of vehicles now, or literally anything. Yeah. Well, I've heard there's been some issues with it, but yeah, Squatch, it's up on my. Stream now. So. I'm watching. Give it a minute for it to catch up. But yeah, no, it. I just. I figured that was a fairly decent look for what I was doing. And oh I, yeah. I didn't actually know how to go and do a true PDA, so I just kind of took that one and ran with it. So. But, but I, I like it. I think it turned out well, especially with adding the. Um, the black overlay and then blurring it. Yes. I, I think it really... That adds a good touch to it and it shows it yeah. where you're at and all that. So. But like, even like the edges of the map actually line up with it though. That's what I love about it. Um, when you did the DEM, did you do it just from the top left corner just for that area or did you go extra big? Uh-huh. Because if you had the DEM info and say that's a, what size map is that? It's a 4X. So you're going to want to go up to a 16X and then your PDA, find that top left corner and grab a whole different DEM for it. Then you cut out where your map is in Blender. Then you grab the rest of that in Blender and uh, you technically grab the terrain, export it from GE as a... Uh, OBJ. Yes, OBJ, and then import that into Blender and sculpt in Blender to get your um, borderless map. That's how Kim did it. That's how they did it on what is that? Oh, um, God, you guys are gonna kill me now. What is that one map from? Was it 17 or 19? 17 that Bullet Bill did. Lone Oak? Yep, that's how they got their borderless map. They brought it all up with the in Blender to match perfectly. And then they brought that border into GE and then they slapped the textures on it. Interesting. I learned all that from Kim back in 19, but never had Blender. I just don't know if I want to have to go back through that entire process again. It, it's it would be really hard for you to find the exact point and to get it to line up but I think you could do it by overlaying the DEM that you have now in Blender and finding your exact corners and then just snip that center out yeah but that it's it's a lot of work yeah I, I was just kind of happy to be done with all that <laughs> Because, like, yeah. the data itself wasn't... Like, I didn't want to include that much of the town because I didn't want to put that many houses on there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, I really despise having, like, towns on actual maps where, like, it just takes up needless space. Because the only thing the town has is a gas station and a co-op. <laughs> and I was just going to move the co-op around, but I... All the data points was like that. So I couldn't get it to actually. Like I could have cropped it. But I couldn't have got it perfect as it is. Yeah. 
so I just kind of went with it, but I just, I don't want to go through that process again. That was a pain. <laughs> I don't blame you one bit. Like, that's, that's, like, that was the quickest part of it because, like, I was, I had some knowledge, like, with Python and stuff like that, but, like, yeah, that's, that's kind of what burnt me out once I got it done. And then I just haven't really found my rhythm since. So... I just kind of been messing around uh, on it. You can demolish the houses. Uh, yeah. I think, if you own the land. I think or on the the map that we're playing on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. I think you can demolish like pretty much anything on it. Which I do love, like really. <laughs> I do, but I don't like the houses. Oh, that one ain't that bad. That ain't. That I don't know what it's like up in Canada, but... Okay, I guess the... The thing has to be an 8-bit... Single channel. Did you finally get it to go on GE? Uh, no. I broke my textures, but I don't really care. It takes no more than 2 seconds to... Fix all my problems I've... Created. It's, I haven't placed anything and loaded into this yet, since I know it works. Fair. At least now I'm not having issues with... I bet if I go to paint gravel now, I'll have no problems. Never mind, I came in freaking paint gravel. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, I and love you, GE. Enjoy doing that. That's... I've never had these problems before. That's one I thing, but I didn't want to do custom ground textures on the ray. Like, I'll, I'll add, like, custom foliage types, but... There's some things I just don't want to mess with, and that is that is one of them. Well, I mean, like I still never figured out how to get the hay texture I was working on to look right. Like I don't know, me and Squatch were going at that for several days. <laughs> I, I was fighting that. Um, oh god, cornstalk texture. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and try working on this again when I wake up and actually having like being with it and not like You're not allowed. Huh? You're not allowed. I'm gonna go to sleep. No, you're not allowed. What? <laughs> He's confuzzled. <laughs> <laughs> I think I broke it. <laughs> I'm, yep, broke digit. Rip. I'm just kind of out of it when I'm tired. Ah, uh, he doesn't have 30 inch soybeans in there, does he? Can we get a F in the chat for Digit's brain tonight, boys? Oh, there he is. So I have the guy, like, where I can just chat with him personally. So, like,. If you see anything, Squatch, just let me know and I can shoot him a message. Um, I haven't seen anything. The soybeans are spaced out about 30 inches. I, I, I think he poured like everything he could in this map from what it looks like. Overrun auto drive, wow. But like, I, I am not going to complain. Like, this map is fairly nice. It's not my play style, but like I say, do a nice map. Well done, because it is yeah. well done. Uh, See, so I I just haven't found a map that's like clicked with me yet. So me neither. That's kind of why I was making Luray, but I don't know. Oh, I found, don't know I found if I'll ever chumpy. finish it. I I found that chumpy guy that you're talking about. This maker. is my first attempt making a mod for Emphasis, but. Okay, I guess this kid or person or whoever learned how to do it. That's cool. But yeah, no, I'm gonna go to bed here in a minute. Uh, What's it What's it? Have a good one. You too. 
Hopefully GE will stress you out again when you wake up in the morning like it does us all. <laughs> Throw my hard drive out the window of all my mods on it. Probably not a wise move, but you do you. Yeah. Also, don't let me get bored and like talk about anything to me since if I get bored and I'm just like kind of out of it. I will make the most random mod on Planet Earth. Like, I, last night I was, like, eh, and I, like, made a tornado that actually spun and made sounds, and basically just a Mahindra with a tornado on top of it, but, yeah. And then I made tornado sirens that you could hear from, like, around the map. Like, if you place one or two down, it sounds fairly realistic. Hmm. Kind of a cool thing that they actually were, but... I've, I've gotten to the point where if I get bored, I'll just make something stupid and call it a night. Dude, he's got clover and alfalfa on here? <laughs> oh, uh, what last I was going to say, I, I still have a lot of exploring to do before I can write a decent review on it. Wait a second, is, is Squash the Squash Monkey the one that was helping me out? Yeah. Uh -huh. Have you seen um, what what's the movie called? The Big Lebowski. The what? what? <laughs> Have you seen the little Big Lebowski? <laughs> you sound exactly like uh, Big Lebowski. You sound like John Goodman, huh? No. You sound like John Goodman. <laughs> It's funny. If you watch the movie, you'd see. Or your Discord makes it sound like. But yeah, I'm going to bed now. <laughs> yep, tired. he's definitely tired. Oh gosh. Anyone gonna watch the Utah and U USC game tonight? Eleven oh three to be right exact. Meh. I don't actually I don't actually know what time that game starts, all I know is I'm rooting for Utah all the way. Ah, they did beat him. Forty seven to twenty four. <laughs> Yo I have a personal beef Bang. against USC, so They got spanked. They did. They got whooped. The F in the chat is also for USC. They got straight up whooped. Sorry for you, weird people that like USC, but they got whooped. Lazy. Yeah. I think he can buy all the grain off of the map too. Like you don't have to harvest it if you don't want to. Huh. I wonder if that would turn a profit. Oh god, I was just looking at that. Right now, corn, if this is a buy point, corn is $243 and you can only sell it for 23 <laughs> Not, Not going to turn a profit from that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he has it to the point that you're going to make fucking money off it. Maybe it's just like to get started, you know? I fully agree with that, and that's the one reason why I was thinking about the one start in spring, because then you got time to build up. Yeah. I just don't like starting in spring, because then you're just kind of sitting there like, wait for everything to grow. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same way through the winter. I do admit, though, that's, that's why I can't do normal crops, because I will just, like make myself so tired of just sitting there going through the days oh yeah like that's why i have to do like cattle or something so like i don't get burnt out of just sitting there that's why i'm the same exact way i gotta post this on my facebook real quick this is too good not to post one other thing I want to get into is I want to 
want to see if I can get um, Maze and Horse Play, excuse me, Horse Play to work with uh, one of the High Dump Wagons for Silage. That would be something cool. Uh, that's my plan on whatever map I can find that I'm going to actually play on. Because I can't find it. Yeah, I need to, I think I'll, I, I think I can get a decent beef operation going on this map. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, because I'm tired of dairy. I am too, I was, all respect to Large Age for that map. It is downright amazing, but I am, I am ready to get out of dairy. <laughs> dairy is not my forte, so. I ain't gonna lie, Squatch, you sound kind of thrilled with this map so far. He does, I, honestly. I honestly just like the features he put in, man. I mean, he, this, he's really he's put time, he's put so much time into this map. Like, I have never heard of the guy before, but he's got my respect. <laughs> Oof. 700 bushels of corn cost me $16,000. <laughs> Holy crap. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We ain't buying crap. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's, that's like what I'm saying is there's no other map that anybody ever really thought of that put a buy point for all the crops. And even I can say that personally because I put buy points on quite a few maps. But I never thought about putting it in there. Like on Westby, it'd be great. Oh crap, I ran out of corn in my bed. I'm gonna go buy a semi load so I can grind it in, you know? Yeah, yeah. that way you can make your TMR, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's a that's big why plus I say right I there. Keep, that's innovative. I keep finding all this stuff about this map, and it's kind of starting to catch on. I'm curious to see if he has anything special with cows. What cows? Like, I'm curious if he has, like, pellets or anything like that Why which does that sound like something that tyson would would want you know, tyson's oh. mia but you know what did he change in the animal which credit i am running mace plus so i don't know i am too but looks like nothing okay which is that's that's okay. I mean, no. Um, I'm just trying to figure out. He didn't bring in all the XMLs out of the data folder, but he brought in what he needed. I just don't know why he needed the animal XML because I'm running. I'm going to run Maze Plus also, but he has Alfalfa and Clover. So that means if you're not using Maze Plus, the only thing you can do with that is sell it. Which is like, I'm bringing this stuff up so when you do a video, you can explain some of that. Yeah. I wonder if he's got Mace Plus and Dependencies. Well, let me go look. It kind of sounds like he might have it set up. Where do you put it in my desk? <laughs> it's got me there somewhere. <laughs> thinking of doing round bales or square bales on it? I usually only do round bales and they got me the big bales. Do you want me to send you this 568 that I edited with the 6x5s on it? That one I don't know yet. Um, will it work with I don't want to say it but Cunningham's bale movers and stuff? T does not. I can probably edit it to make it work. 
Maybe? I don't know. As of right now, I'm going to stick with what I got. You're good. Work. But I don't think he has alfalfa in it. Oh. I wonder how many plus does that. Another thing to go look at. What is going on, Chris? Thanks for joining on. And that is rainy, by the way, from MRM Farms. Or however they actually do their name. Yep, you got it right. <laughs> so, he said he didn't know who you, the other guy was talking. He knew who I and Squatch was. I'm pretty sure just about every diehard farm sim fanatic from night. From... Let's see, when did you come on the scene, Squatch? Oh, God. I was public you... with my modding page in end of 19. No, no, excuse me, middle of 19. But you yeah, were doing stuff in 17, me. weren't you? Um, so my background is I found the game 2000 or er, FS11. I found the game. And then yeah. I, once I found it, I played it for a couple months and 13 came out. Played the crap out of it. Started getting into mods a little bit here and there. 15, I dived into editing maps and, uh, not a whole lot of mods, but I did what I could. 17, my computer took a crap. Couldn't even open GE. So therefore, I was very limited on what I could do in 17, mainly played on console. Then in 19, I finally bought a computer again, and that's when I kind of... In 19, I did the Flint Hills edit that I did release. Ah, I remember I that. That was like my learning map, and I never finished my actual map to release it and I don't know if I'll ever convert it I'm just I, I'm not a map maker that can play on his own maps I make it and I'm bored with it so it's it's a strange addiction that I have but then um, in 22 I helped convert a lot of uh, mods with Tyson and them mm -hmm. and then with large H and whatnot, I let him do his thing, which he's really good at, and GE painting and detailing buildings and all that. And then I do all the background stuff, which is the XML edits, the multi terrain angle, all the technical side. And for whatever reason, I like the XML stuff way more than I like anything else to do with modding. But uh... now I am slowly diving into Blender very very slowly <laughs> I don't have much time to learn Blender like non-stop so okay yeah I, I come into the scene modding publicly in 17 so I didn't mod for 19 as much as I wanted to but I just I got, I got burnt out in 19 so I just kind of hung around and played the game <clears throat> to be Excuse honest me, with played you. the game and now I'm back doing edits here and there that kind of just a close kind of close friend share kind of thing right now. Oh, I hear you. And to be honest with you, though, I mean, I fully understand what you're saying with getting burnt out because mm -hmm. I, uh, what, what year was that? It was the winter of 2021, 20 and 21. I didn't touch a single mod for over six to eight months. I didn't even hardly turn my computer on. I was just like, there's too much drama. I'm bored. Yeah. Of it. I'm done with it. I'm, I left. Yeah, because I, I recall your Facebook post about that, actually. Yeah. I, I remember that. And I just, it, it's good to take a break, and I'm almost to that point right now, but. I don't have a whole lot going on besides work, so I need something to just get away from real life with. Yeah. And now I can't find a map that I absolutely need. I think I'm probably going to be stuck on Westby again. Which Westby, I, I, I give them props for. It's a 
great map. Small for my taste. It just feels small to me. Hmm. It, it, they built it for their small farming. I mean, the guys that built it are literally small farmers. Small farming is the way they go. They don't do any, like... Any of the commercial stuff. Crashers. Yeah, they're not going to do it. But, I mean... I give them props for turning out a 4X map right away like that. Because it was a lot of work, and they did a really good job at what they had. They just missed oh, yeah. a few things here and there. And then I tuned it up for them. And there's a little bit more I wanted to do to it, but we just didn't have time. Yeah, the, the map that I'm I'm running right now is Hannah. And of yeah. course, a lot of the guys who know me, like Lazy and uh, Tyson and rooster for example they know that i'm the big commercial style guy like i'll run four 620 steigers and i know it's da dangerous mentioning red farm but you know <laughs> especially in front of lazy <laughs> if it's red keep it in the shade hey i'm pulling a john deere air seater right now so Probably because there ain't no that. decent case ones. Uh, the, the, the precision disc. The precision disc, actually, which I'm surprised it's still around, to be completely honest. It could use some help, but it's still a great, great piece of equipment, in my opinion. I... I, see, I kind of toss a turn because I want a 4x map where I can run some big stuff. But then again, I want it. I didn't do a whole lot of small farming. And then all of a sudden, Westby came out in 22, and I'm like, small farming and everything. And now I'm kind of to the point. I want a little bit more. But I don't know what I want exactly. And that's why this map, it's such a great map that that's why it. It makes me want to play it, but I want something that's a bit hillier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a, a wee bit flat. <laughs> if I if we had uh, Washington on Hannah map, I'd be all over doing like a massive wee bro. That's why I just don't know what way to go. But no, I'm not going to Welker Farms. I knew you were going to say that somehow. Because a lot of people will ask about it. Or tell me, this man, Walker Farms, do it, do it, do it. No. Played the crap out. What was, when was the original one made? Was that 17? Yes. yes. I played the crap out of it on council. And I, oh I God, did do. I, I got burnt out of it. Because on council, you can only hire workers. You got no other options, and they only go straight lines up and down. So it's like mm -hmm. you're doing everything else, and I was just okay, done. I still haven't even got all the collectibles. On the yet. I just that. There's one I'm missing. I've got. Know. I'm missing one, and finding it has been a pain. The extra money that they do give is awesome. I just wanted the achievement. Another map that I've come to like, and yeah, it's a it's a it's a small map, but it does it's big enough to where you can run some of the large equipment, and that's Stone Valley. Mm. I've actually come I, to like Lancy Boy's maps. I have. The 22 version is far nicer than the 19 version. Like, at night at 22 standards, oh my goodness. That's a 1x though, right? It is, but it feels like a 2, um, between a 2 and a 4, honestly. Right, but what was the one that he came out with in 19 then? 
Which, what did Icky all do in 19? I know. Um. I know it had. He had Alf. I think it's Alf, Alpha, and Clover. And there was something else. I think it was. I'm trying to remember what all. Don't. There's a 4X map he did in 19. Because I was kind of playing both council and PC at the time. Mm -hmm. Players back and forth. And then he got that 4X map out, and I went and looked at it, and I'm like, God, there's just the fine details in it drove me nuts that I couldn't play it. It was such a great American map, but when he boxed off a drive over pit, you can take your semi through it, with K rails, I actually had an edit for that map that I ended up dropping see that's another one that i wish somebody would do for 22 is flint hills i miss I've that map so much I've heard rumors. i i am i was heartbroken hearing that js mapping wouldn't be continuing in 22. i wanted their new map everyone that did new, oh was it uh Even even for nineteen, it was beautiful. Yeah. Oh whoa! You get new houses with platinum expansion. Yes. Yeah. Holy crap! Shows. I really haven't played with platinum expansion a lot. I haven't either. Those are some fancy log uh, log houses. Though. Holy crap! Oh, by the way, the guy that I mentioned, uh, that was earlier, that was doing the Hannah, Indiana edit, mm -hmm. he actually just joined VC. <laughs> hey, Tim. What's that? You know how you were asking about the, or that you had some questions about some of the scripting for Hannah? that you had. I think Squatch might be able to help you on that. Uh, it wasn't Hannah. Yeah, it was, uh, putting cell points in. I'm having the hardest time on that. Oh, that's simple. Um, <laughs> I'm probably missing something. I, I got it down to 19, but I couldn't get it in. It, it depends on how you want to do it. So you could have your co-op built into the map through GE and then literally in your placeable XML just call in one of their cell points. And I highly uh, suggest that you put the I3D and the XML into your map so you can name it whatever you want and that's something off of Elm Creek and put in whatever you want then. But I would suggest that way, or you make a whole placeable out of it and make it call back to where it's got to be. But literally, you can spawn in just the um, dump point of your placeable as well. So, my biggest thing when I do any writing scripting is just like trying to double check my XMLs non-stop, and sometimes it will be your best option, best friend, because you could, uh, <clears throat> how was that? I think it's, God, I can't remember how to verify that. You should just be able to take the file, the XML file, and dump it right into the uh, search bar or URL bar and it would come up with what is your error or you can go, no, it's XML Validator on Google. XML Validator? 
Yeah, you type that in, once you get there, you can drop your entire file, and it will tell you if you're missing a quotation mark, or greater than sign, or less than sign. Your log will tell you a lot, but not enough. I think there's also one that's kind of built into um, It's the schema notepad. now that Tim did. Oh, really? Yeah, if I remember. Let me load it up. I've been using... Notepad or Notepad++? Plus plus? Notepad++. Plus plus. Uh, I haven't up updated in a while, though. Um... So like you should have like plugins and then like I think there's XML tools and then there's like a validate now. Oh that's nice. If not, I think you can download the XML tools for free. Had to remember I was messing around with VS too much. <laughs> what were you saying, Squatch? Squatch, I don't know if you know or if you were around. Do you know who did the Notch trailer for 19? Was that Western or was that um, full on next gen? Notch trailer. Yeah, the. the that Bale trailer? Yeah, the Bale trailer. I think that was uh, Western. What Notch trailer are you talking about? It's a little. Let me see if I can't find it. It's a round bale. You mean the yellow one? Possibly. I don't know. I was talking to Shane. Like I was trying to like teach him a few things. And then he kind of just ghosted me, so. That's normal. He's uh, been here and there. Yeah. But I haven't seen him for good half. I'd say it's almost been four to six months since I've last talked to him. And since he's been in any discovery calls or anything, I think he's just doing his own. Yeah, I can't remember who made it. Your stream Shit, I didn't have. I'm just on my other monitor. Oh. I have three monitors, so. I just got my new monitor today, and the dual monitor arm. Gonna be sweet and actually hook it up. Yeah, I have I have two side by side, and I have one that's higher up that I have. That's what I'm actually. Uh, it works. I don't have a terrible much space, mm -hmm. but uh, but it works fairly well because like I just set my uh, smaller monitor that I like replaced up higher on uh, like above the secondary monitor that's just what i've run streamlabs on yep. so oh, i can just monitor all the audio channels chat and stuff like that so then i still have my secondary monitor if i want to go like look something up i got you man i forgot everything that he was working on <laughs> jeez Okay, uh, correction, it is the H&S bail trailer. Not the... See, I don't know what... Notch. Show it quick, if you would. See if there's a better picture of it somewhere. Uh, where are you at? Maybe there's not. But yeah. Oh. 
I just don't know who originally made it. I have the file. I just don't know who made it and I don't wanna. I haven't heard from Western either. And since, uh, I wanna say September. Yeah, he's kind of been, am I? I don't know what happened with Western at all. He's, but, from what I understand, been going through some personal stuff. Oh, I know. Well, something else happened in the FS community, I think, too. He kind of disappeared oh. on us after his last release. Nah. <laughs> I was talking to him after that. We were going to... How do I want to put this about getting in trouble? We had plans that after harvest, aka this winter, it was going to be like a massive effort to do the Forex map, top to bottom, buildings, roads, everything. We had it all set up, and then I guess it didn't make sense. Sounds like New Breed so, 2.0 that we were doing. I I honestly think he just stepped away. I think he stepped away from his computer. So say there, reason, there was something that happened in Tyson's Discord that kind of made it. Oh, it wasn't that. That made him stop. That just made him not be public. Yeah. It's just, I, I want to say something in real life, what my guess is, came up and he decided not to be on online as well. That's what I wish people would realize is like, every, all of us have our own real lives that we work into. Like, we, we're not just sitting here all day in front of our computers. A lot of people think that, but especially with me being active on social media, but what I'll do is I'll go create like 10 images at one time and I'll just schedule them to post. I need so, to do that for MRM. So I'm only active like two actual like two or three days of the week. The rest of the time I just kinda of glance at my Facebook feed and share stuff if I see something. Exactly. Like people I don't figure out where I come the rest of the That doesn't look like anything on the map to me. Did that come from? That almost looks like it. He honestly might have done it himself. Who knows? I need to get back in. I have a building that's like ready to release, but I'm trying to decide if I want to put the color changing on it or not. Yes. It gets to be a pain sometimes because it doesn't work exactly how you think it would. I heard someone else key up. Uh, did I miss some buildings that came out? Oh. I still wish we could get a new version of the red iron. Cough, cough. Which red iron? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the red iron that you did in 19. I did many red irons in 19. The sixty by eighty, or yeah, that's possible. No. no. Well, that one too. Yes, <laughs> that one too. I want that one. Or you mean the pole barn? That's that was like a red iron. I don't know. I released so many buildings in nineteen. It's not even funny. Somewhere. Hang on. Or was it the shop that I thought Trailer Park was gonna flip out on me on? Yes, that one. I haven't done I haven't done garage doors in twenty two yet. I'm kinda 
I want to make my own, but I don't really want to script them at the same time. I think I added some to my like mod list the other day. I need to also go back and get rid of I think I think TPF released some. And I also think there's one with a hydraulic or a door on it that's in the mod hub, I think. Hmm. Possibly. I don't know. I don't I have so many buildings that like Yeah, but I'm pretty sure like one like placeable dry storage shed that's a ninety by two hundred, I think it has a hydraulic door on the ends. I might be mistaken okay. about a mod hub one. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's definitely a bifold door. Yeah. So It's so hard to find hay bales at night. Holy crap. <laughs> it kind of just... Dude, that has gotten dark. It That's is... It, it is so dark. <laughs> like, I can't see. Just... And it got, like, so dark so quick. <laughs> well, see, like, I don't... If you set relight up right, it doesn't look bad. It just, I didn't think it was that bad. It just but gets then, pretty dark. That's my only complaint. Is like dark is dark when it comes to it. And I was talking to him about it, and I think if he would have stuck with his lighting on version one and just fixed the cube map maps that he uh, did for version two, I think it would be a little bit different, but that's that was my issue, is it's so dark, and the game doesn't get rid of the sun, and it just transfers it into the moonlight, but I like the coloring that it had, but at the same time, it was a little bit too much red. I, I went back and forth with it, and I was kind of like, this point of, yeah, I don't know. Yet. But you mean, I got... Fairly decent at like making my own presets on it, but also I need to add tension belt collisions to these bales. It's just hard because I cannot see <laughs> very far in front of me. Okay. That roosters trailer or yours? Roosters. I could have used mine, but I didn't have enough room on the ball hitch one for all the bales, so. You know, there was a YouTuber out there that publicly shamed the trailer for not having enough colors to it. What? Seriously? Yeah. I literally got, uh, I was, I got a DM on Discord. It was like four or five days after it released. Like, they downloaded their, like, this thing doesn't have enough colors on it. It should be more colorful. I was like, if you actually go look at bail trailers, each brand really only has one color that they offer. Yeah, it's yeah. only one color. Like, I set mine up like, so you could act like it's several different brands, not make it rainbow colored. Like, respect to the ones that do that, but I that's just not my style. Uh, don't no. worry. But. Probably out there somewhere on like mudhub.us or some crap that's already got multicolor on it. You know. Yeah. Honestly, I haven't seen one yet, but. Let's see, like, all the colors on it were actually like the true colors from the manufacturers. Right. So it should all be like, it's like Patriot Blue and. I can't remember what the red was, but yeah. 
I run all of my bell trailers in black. See, we're, we do a lot of black and red between the... We have a local one that builds them that is all red, and then um, they, like the true Hay Holler brand is black. So. Also, there is no sleep trigger at this house. You got to get the oval pack, man. It comes with like a doormat. I can't remember what you get it to tell you through, but it comes with a little doormat you can place anywhere. Mm, that sounds... So it's like the boots. It's like the boots that we had in 19. Yeah. So the Hobo Farmhouse pack, I remember that coming out very, very early. And it comes with a bunch of houses, and then you got like the tent, the bench, and a doormat. You know, that you can just place them anywhere on your map and run up to them and sleep. So it's really nice to have for these houses and everything. Just place a trailer house down for a moment. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Mark. Good evening, ladies. Strike three. You're out. Oh. Wow. You don't even oh. get to be started. You're just out of here. Keep going. Toodaloo. He, he disconnected. <laughs> oh, I love Mark for playing along with the joke. <laughs> oh, gosh. Giants did so well with this freaking house on the Platinum Expansion. Windows and everything you can see in there, but they didn't make it so you can go inside. Wait, you can't go inside of it? No. Huh. That's... It looks really nice. It looks really good. It's a little fair. Like, I'd like to see a few things on the countertop. Maybe table. But other than that, it looks really decent. Can't go inside it. That's messed up. Well, Rainy, if you see Mark, just let him know that we were kidding, just in case if he thought we were actually taking I, him serious. <laughs> I actually just sent him a text message. <laughs> just want to make sure that he wasn't thinking we were actually serious. <laughs> I, I just texted him and told him. I had no He's intention. Like, oh, I, went, I, I went to jump back to another server that we're, that we're in. I know where he's at. Oh, okay. Oh, he's probably in your guys' actual server, ain't he? No. Oh. I was going to say, someone's streaming in that one, so. Yeah. Uh, cattle and ghost are. Oh. Ghost. Yeah, ghost, cattle, cave, and brucker are all over in there. I'm surprised. I think that's kind of what ended up killing the uh, modder chat in Tyson's Discord. <laughs> Tyson was gone. Tyson's was gone, and then we just kind of just moved to a different Discord. <laughs> we all kind of pittered out there for a while. Yeah, and then we kind of just got the band back together. Sort of. Ish. You have Rooster and Jono, and then you have all of us young modders that don't know nothing. Yeah, I, I hope he sees all this and I hope he knows that this map is just awesome. It's yeah, it's pretty pretty nice. Which one is it? Oh, uh, Ch Chilli Chilliwack? Chilliwack. I think I pronounced that right. The Chilliwack Basin. Yeah. So. Squatch, you might know. What was the 
Alberta map that was released in 19... I think it was by 4MR. That had like the big feedlot set up on it. Literally Alberta. Oh, that was straight up the name of it? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. There you go, Rainy. There's your answer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't... I didn't... I thought... I thought it was unfinished, though. It, uh, or is it Marathon County that I'm thinking of? They got leaked. Marathon, no. Gives... No, Marathon County was never finished. We got bored of it. Mm -hmm. Ah. I played on that Alberta map for a while. Mainly because the feedlot on it. Yeah, when I met up with Warmr, he was just started his private server on Alberta. And uh, then it kind of pittered out there because everybody that he was playing with helped work on it, work on it too. So they were kind of done with it. And then he kind of went back to work a lot of hours, and that's when we decided to jump into Marathon County, and then all the drama did. I remember him blowing up on Sirius and Iron in Sirius Mods Discord. Oh, dude, that was right through Unity and all that crap. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I he was in Sirius Discord when that happened. He got stroked through the water Yep. I remember that. I think, I've, I think I finally left that Discord, I think. <laughs> think? I think. I got I got many Discords. Nobody nobody shut it down. I mean like nobody just said we're done. It just That's fizzled out. Just Honestly, fizzled I think out. Community was a was a lost cause. I hate uh... to say it. I, I think it had some change. To me, I think but. it was going to be pretty decent in a way, but they needed to restructure. You know who you know the, who was leading that, right? Okay, mm -hmm. just wanted to. Oh. I know. Yeah. Certain three letters. But, uh, I mean, there, it comes down to the point, and that's kind of like what kicked me out of the community really bad around there, too, because nobody had the same views on it, and nobody was listening to anybody else, and it was literally just attack, attack, attack. And that's when I kind of called it, like, okay, we're all trying. We all tried really hard here. Well, it kind of went from starting to be like against like against giants, and then we started like getting into on other modders, and that's when it went downhill. Yep. If we would have just stuck together against one thing, it would have went well. But the other modders, and then went to leakers and then you have the people that went against the group. And then that didn't help matters. Yeah, it was just one big. It was it was thing. a good thing for like the first three days. <laughs> because like. I should probably go back and talk to Matt or JS Matt and actually apologize for some of the shit I said. I don't know. Like I I. I Just I, saying, I miss that outfit. I think we. I was just saying that I miss JS mapping. Uh -huh. I just heard you miss outfit. I said I miss that outfit. I know, but I was worried that you took your outfit off. No. No. <laughs> See, like back when I like I was like, oh, early part of nineteen, like when I kind of rebranded over to Lazy E. Um, the, the guys from JNS reached out. I had no clue who they were. Mm -hmm. Like, they just wanted me to, like, make a building, like, some buildings for them and stuff, and I was just like, I just 
don't have time because this was during summer so I was putting in like 60 70 hours a week at the feed mill and so I was like I just don't have a whole lot of time to go and put into buildings if I would have known who they were I would have made time I just had no idea who it was I really did it I mean honestly though they they blew up they took off and they were a great team they they were and, everything they added was awesome just kind of once again real life okay. yeah We're just I just feel like we're changing to a new generation of modders to be honest like oh god man you remember back in because when I was running around 15 17 I was going to oh what was that website before? American Eagles modding oh yeah with Papa Smurf or whatever is yeah I was never uh... running. I was never talking a lot never got friendships in there but I was asking questions and researching in there a lot but then all of a sudden found facebook groups then all of a sudden you got the drama from the facebook groups and then everybody went in and discord and that's what we've discussed a lot before is what is the next step to bring everybody back together and make it nice and then i got to thinking we lost a lot of older guys oh, yeah. I mean, it, I don't think we're going to bring them back is the issue. They're, yeah. they're modding for themselves, playing the game however they want. But... Because I miss serious mods. I miss, um, who made, um, Lincoln, Nebraska? Lincoln Creek? Yeah, there you go. Uh, that was actually Brandon Spark. Yeah, why did I say serious mods? I meant random sparks. Um, <laughs> serious mods, uh, he does a lot too, but he doesn't seem to be doing as much as he used to at one point in time, you know? So, I'm also to the point of, like, just getting some of those older guys. Who made, um, I want to say it was 15 or something. <coughs> there was a <coughs> of line, there was another one. Oh god, I've had to look it up. Well, in serious mods, he is still around. He's just been kind of low key here lately because of some right. drama that happened in his Discord. Oh, yeah. That's, that's just where I'm at, dude. Like, that's why I was giving you guys crap to don't do public discords. And that's why. Yeah. I got, I put it this way. I got enough drama really if I don't need it to hear my hobby. That's, that's like honestly the best way I can put it. If we can all just get along and be one big happy family. I mean, it's, it's sad because ever since what? early 17 you we get these guys that do these private mods and then you get these you get the mod beggars and you get the leakers and you know all these guys that just get jealous over computer files okay they're not material yes they're mm -hmm. 3d models based off of real farm equipment you know real buildings real trucks you know trailers you know, right. they're, they're, but they don't exist physically. Like, uh, the modding? <laughs> yeah, let's not go there right now. Uh, Sorry, yeah, there's reasons. <laughs> Lazy, I'll explain later. Mm -hmm. Um, all good. But, uh, you know, they're just, it's to the point. Where even in 19, and in 17, even, you know, you get these guys that just, 
get so mad over these computer files where it results into actual real life physical violence that has i've heard stories from you know guys in the community where that's happened i've never had it personally happen you know but i've heard quite a few you know of uh, quite a few occurrences where it's gotten too close for comfort oh yeah and you know that's one thing that a lot of the people in this community of course yes there's kids in this community even there's kids that are under the age of 18 who don't know no better who will you know be keyboard warriors who can't back themselves up in real life you know you just don't do that it's a respect thing i we get that you know it's just there isn't no need for it you know no, we're all is. playing one game if we look at it this way we all have and i'm saying this from my point of view you know, y'all can take it how y'all want to if you look at it we all live and this is i know this is going to sound kind of weird but we all live the same base game yeah mm -hmm. you know we're all in real life we're all in the same base game we are the same base game mods i know that sounds weird but it's the truth Boo. There isn't no point in, you know, we're all different, just like each mod. You know, we're all different. We all do things different, even with modding. And in the farm sim community, even the ATS community, I've even heard of stuff going down there, too. You know, it's... We're all doing this, we're all doing this to have fun, to relax, to just enjoy having the freedom to create a virtual life, a virtual world where we have total control. Rainy went deep there. Exactly. I mean, it, KJ on the stream kind of touched the same thing. Out of respect for somebody who is creating anything and sharing publicly, you should you should really always ask permission. Now, I'm not saying you need to wait the six months to a year to get the permission, but the biggest thing I've always found is give credit where credit is due. And I will always give credit where credit is due. Now, the things that I have done since beginning of 19 to 22, I stay off of the crazy mod sites. I don't go to Mod Hub US. I think I've touched it maybe twice in the last six months just to scroll through and see, like, what is actually getting released, you know? And you can find yeah. some things on those sites that are a true author published and he had no other place to go but there to release it he didn't know about much yeah. but then again we're we're missing our touch with each other when we don't have the forms we don't have the documentation we don't have the areas where we can go and see what all the older boys have done and what we can learn from yeah. but it's just it's it's a hard transition kind of stuck in right now. Yup. That's, that's the hope with the mod site is try to kind of create a hub. And Tom, are you talking about my, my little deep soapbox wisdom that I just went on? I'm pretty sure that's what he was just referring to. Oh, so well, we got the chance. Good old farmers. Uh, I use shaders off and on. Currently, I'm running 
um, relight that might change depending on how I actually enjoy this but yeah so some I people some people run you're you're good we got like two different conversations going so it's kind of tricky uh, some people do run shaders you know some people think the base game's okay just kind of a personal taste now nah, you're clear Rainy. okay see I I never really did edits until this game because I'm having to relearn everything literally but I did re I released myself some stuff in 17 and I wish I could still find it but there was some stuff that I helped with in 17 and some stuff that I did help with in 19 doing testing but yeah I get where you're coming from with even to show stuff off on uh, streaming you know I, I get where you're coming from there too oh yeah and of course everything you know for lazy e I'm gonna hype up and flex just saying even though I don't have anything, I'm just saying. He's fanboying over here. Can't help it. I gotta hype my boys up. <laughs> Easy there. Remember, remember our mics are <laughs> something else. Yeah, the mics are spicy. <laughs> I had to. But did you, Rainy? Yes. But did you? I sure oh. did. Now that he has Oh, he's got multi-angle train on it already? No, it, it, multi-angle train should be on it, but I'm saying a train, like... Oh, anytime okay. Anytime I go through my fill pipes, I usually don't add them to the train way because I don't play a map of train, or a train on it. Well, and now there's a... gonna be some... Squatch monkey to tweaks to it now too. Oh, I'm I'm sure I'll put my tweaks on it. Get it. You got it. When, whenever you get used to having something, trying to not use it just doesn't work too well. I know. I'm kind of worried about having this uh, alfalfa and clover in it because I really don't want to add a bunch more stuff to a map. But if I get used to it, it's gonna happen. I need to I need to add silage corn to the map. Oh. I already did it. So I just I use that constantly. Language, that's strike two. Oh, uh, fudge. <laughs> I like, I like, uh, that review map, but at the same time, you jump into this map and you're like, uh, yeah, this is real. Yeah, I found his itch. So I'm gonna have to download it myself. Stuff, 
Yeah, you, YouTube got me wanting this uh, map now, so I done downloaded it. Well, you have, you have Windrow. I don't know what that does, but there's a Windrow. Yeah, it works. It's just called Windrow. It's not like hey. No, it's not. But it's going. It only calls it that because that's the way he has wrote in the um, fill types Which and fail types. Does it, so it would spawn a help out of me. Yeah. I was but like. I'm not. I can't put a field of help out of it. Uh, so, that no, I was I thinking. Know. I thought you were meaning about a bale or something. Now I want to know if I can plant this anywhere. Damn it, more money. I feel that. I do that daily too. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Oh, I wasn't talking to you, Squatch. He was giving he was giving me problems. Well, Squatch is working on like editing the map. Getting extra money for that is reasonable. Oh. Adding adding money every day just for the heck of it is not reasonable. Why are the freaking <laughs> stickers no, I, so I don't, rough? On this? I don't do it every day for I mainly do it starting out and then I just completely just Squatch, have you had auto drive just completely funk up a game for you before? Auto drive? No. I just, I get an error that it just kills everything. Because it's constantly running a L or a script error. Constantly. What is it? Uh, it says failed to validate XML path vehicles. Vehicle 12.fs22 auto drive and then the version auto drive and then auto drive restrict to field huh have you updated it yeah at least there wasn't an update when i looked for it but um which one are you on uh running 2.0.0.6 hmm. i just it it honestly broke one of my it like broke one of my save games on uh, Leona, <laughs> so. Interesting. Like, it just stopped everything from growing. Cause like it was doing nothing but running the air constantly. And I just seen it in the log on this save game, so. I might just, I might just uninstall it and reinstall it and see. I would not get the one on Mod Hub by any means. Not? Ah, okay. Who, who made it? Oh God. I, I have their Discord. Never mind. I got it. I kind of forgot I was in their Discord. <laughs> I got, I got so many discords. I left like 20 yesterday. <laughs> I got bored and yeah. just was going through them. I was like, holy crap, I'm in so many. That's like, if I've talked about this with the other guys too, and if we can get HIO to go to like a news feed scenario the way I really think it's possible because okay, so they kind of already have it set up to be able to do that. Yeah. Well, I made a big mistake. I didn't look at the map and see everything before I changed the field types. Excellent. Well, now I can. 
identical across every single deck of death. That would be why I can't put F12 over and off of it. Now. What is wrong with it? Sorry, I was kind of out of it there for a moment. I did not put the correct crop, or the correct, I don't know how to put this. Any map I play, I run through and just got, I got my XML so that I copy over. And I forgot to add in his alfalfa over. And in my XML, and that's why I can't have to with it. My clock on the stream has actually reset itself. <laughs> Don't you love when that happens? So I have no clue. Okay, so we are three hours and ten minutes in. Yep. Dang. That might that's the longest stream we've done. Longest one in a while, actually. Mad appreciation to everyone. Oh, I can't. I can't. If I was like by myself doing this, like, or on a different map, I probably would have already been out. To be honest, it helps when you have somebody to talk to. Yeah. yeah. Well, like that night that we all were on, like, in Rooster's server, on his live stream, mm -hmm. that I think that thing could have gone on for like forever. I didn't know Rooster had a Discord. Not many people are in it. Uh, fair enough. He he's very selective when it comes to it, so and I don't blame him. Why would clover be on green heather? You can combine clover. I don't think so. I should be able to. I know you can I... mow it. Yeah, the only time I've ever seen clover is an alfalfa clover mix or pastures or alfalfa bales. Why would he have that on green header too? Uh, no clue. Send it maybe. Hmm. Uh huh. Just plug it. Wonder if he was setting it up to uh, swab. Oh, you're right. Oh. That would make sense. Yeah, you can harvest clover seed from it. Yeah. I might have messed a lot of things up. <laughs> Proof, guys, that even some of the best guys at it sometimes mess up all the just time. saying that's what farm sim is pretty much about too I mean, it's trial and error yeah i messed up that uh the huge map pretty bad i put multi-train angle and for whatever reason i have the issue now with uh I have an issue with one of the density files not being right, so it'll only plant the first three fields. One, two, three. I just timed someone out in Tyson's Discord for using mentioning relay after we said enough. Never have had to time someone out before. Oh, there was a big debate going on about relight and stuff, and everyone just finally sh shut up about it. And oh. he he came on there and smartly looked off. You guys should get relight; it's amazing. And I seen him just on inst instantly just put him in timeout. Yep. Ouch. Yep. Like I said, I am fairly lenient on stuff, but when you do something stupid like that, I will drop the hammer. Quick. As can be. Uh, any decent 
awesome mods come out that were like PC only over the last two weeks? Not that I've seen. Well, okay. actually, um, MRM has our first mod out, actually. Oh, you uh, guys dropped the Caterpillar. Yeah. Yeah, sadly, I don't think I'll use that on my save game, Rainy. It works. It actually does. No offense. Most of the work was done by Mark. Well, he got he got enough internet to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly. Uh, yeah. We are sitting just shy of ninety five thousand downloads on the official mod hub. Which one? On the official mod hub. Between the three mods. Oh, the ones that you have on there? Yeah. Congratulations. So I'm, I'm hoping we might be able to reach 100,000, but. Well, we'll see. Well, as, as your hype man for MRM, y'all go download his stuff off the mod hub. It's mint. Go probably, probably most of the people on here probably already have. I know, but I'm just saying, if they watch the stream, do it. I'll go Senator Palpatine. Do it. Yes, I threw a Star Wars reference in there. What did you say that one mod was that had the doormat there? Squatch Hobo? Hobo Farm Pet. I don't remember where it was. Oh, don't you do this to me. It is on the official mod hub, so. Oh, KJ just asked a question. Uh, any clue what would cause an issue with growth slash harvest when seasons is on but works fine with it turned off? That sounds like a mod conflict, doesn't it? The uh, problem is, is there's not a whole lot of mods that conflict with seasons. Touche. Do you, KJ, I'm going to ask this in the most curious way. Do you have auto drive? from the mod hub installed. <laughs> Isn't that the one that has like the most mod conflicts possible? Currently? Well, I just had the same thing happen to me, so that's why I'm curious. I think I, I remember that. Yeah. Wait, are you seriously saying that you just now can't harvest something? What, on, the, on my map? Or the map we're work testing right now? Yeah. No, no, this is on a different map. Oh. Now this was on Leon after like three years. And you know how like Wait. I was talking about like the auto drive error? Yeah. Yeah, I think that because I deleted it and started a new save game and I literally let it run for four hours at like three hundred speed and it worked perfectly fine. Without auto drive. So, um, KJ, with his question though, what map? Really curious though. I need to know the map. I gotta put that one to the rest. Oof. Someone made a quad axle pot trailer. Wait, what? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, someone made a quad axle uh, Wilson Silver Liner. Or Silver Star. Uh, it is that Jack in KCS Discord. Mm. He I also, got banned in there, and uh, I don't know if I'm unbanned. But that was uh, back in, like, 2020. Yeah, 2020 when that happened. 20, early 2021. 
Um, to follow up on your question, Squ uh, Squatch KJ said he took out all the moths and it is still acting up. It is a crop that was added to a map. On West By, we added alfalfa and clover. This is definitely a Squatch question. But that still ruled out my idea, though. Oh, KJ, all I gotta say is double check your growth XML. That is the only place it should be looking. Um, if you take those crops from anything, It's got to be in the growth XML, but you should definitely find a map that it works on and copy those files accordingly. Because I don't think anything in the fruit types is going to mess you up too much. Okay. I'm kind of looking through right now the clover and alfalfa off of whatever this man's called it in, to see how he did it because I was messing with the Mendro harvest date and the max harvest date and all that to get green cutting in and it still kind of affects stuff weird but that only mainly or that mainly affects the menu Uh, let's put this All right. back up here. Now, before I forget, I just need to go grab this. FYI, County Line has made it to 22. I was just looking at for new mods that downloaded. I don't know if they went through it. Changed all of the textures or not. It was done by Geeman72. It was uploaded on modhub.us, so who knows. I never it's really. Website. That was one of those maps that I just never really caught on with last year. Like everyone was like posting about it, I just never really seen it. County line. Yeah. County line comes from the pitch. So. Well, they it is had, version one point one now in twenty two. So. They even used the FS-15 sounds for that map, too, for the environment sounds. Hmm. Or 9 and 22 in 19. Yeah, they, it, it's an old map, and that, that was like one of the best maps ever back in its heyday. But then the squad Just, has been streaming on it for like how long? That was like one of his first series type things. And then he went back to it after a while. And it gained popularity a lot. But they never went through and updated the textures for 22 standards on all the buildings and everything. Because it would just take forever. I fully understand that. I don't know. It's pretty. It's know. pretty windy here. <laughs> you know that moment when you hear like a mouse run across your basement ceiling. That's what I thought I heard, but I heard it with my headphones on. And then I kind of listened for it again, and then I heard the check. I was like, "No 
Yeah, we've been having some pretty gnarly winds here east in East Texas. Yeah. I think we're in one till like six PM tomorrow. I imagine I'll I'll start catching it. Wait, you're in the Midwest, Lazy? Oklahoma. Oh shit, you guys are south. I'm only like 12 hours away from He just called Oklahoma south. Uh, yeah, I heard that too. I didn't know the um, wind with advisory was going to be that bad. Now we got north winds 20 to 30 mile an hour and gusts up to 50. Yep. Till 6 a.m. Saturday morning. I guess I'm the furthest south then. Rainy belongs in Mexico. No, Tejas. Just. <laughs> oh gosh. La La Vida, Tejas. Oh, well, you can actually that, but... place this doormat on an actual mod itself. That is. Yeah. That is a nice add on. Yeah. Now I can sell this trailer house. Perfect. Yeah, I don't need two sleep pods. That is nice. Thanks for letting me know about that, because I was. It's always the one part is like what always sucks is like having to put in like a house. Yeah, especially when you can't get rid of the house that's there. Yeah. I really wish FS wasn't like this where it had like two different foliage types but only lets you paint one grass type. <laughs> I've been working on it. I can't figure it out for the life of me. <sighs> Bugs me. Because then like the grass that the entire map is painted with is something completely different from and that's um i would say that is looks like constant grass that everybody's been using aka h does that a lot i want to figure out how to paint that type of grass and i also want to figure out how i can paint the short grass i'm pretty sure it's somewhere in because if it's on the map, it has to be in the game files. Or the it's, map files. It is, but I don't know how to write it into the XML. You should get be. all the extra layers. I've tried and tried. But from what I'm seeing... Okay. I just have yet to see a map with it that has the foliage on it, and that's where I'm struggling because I don't know how to write it in. Um, the map.xml. It, it is, but... It just looks like it just, you set up, like, the name of it. Hey, are you looking at the one right now? Yeah, I'm looking at the one that's for Larray. That's the zip I had open. Okay. So, if it's constant grass, because I know I can see this anywhere, right? I know it when I see it anywhere. Right be uh, below the deco foliage, they will have mapping grass short or name, layer name, eco foliage, deco foliage, whatever. So. I can't I see Let's see if I can yep, you got it too. You got grass short up there. Yeah. And that is mapping. I don't know how to get it down into the paintable foliage and I've tried. I tried taking grass short, I tried setting it up the same way paintable foliage is. 
it just it I don't know. Might be something that I'm um are you in North's Discord Squatch? Um, Ola, Ola Harbor? Is that his name? I think that's his name. Um, but he was doing a lot of foliage stuff on a map he was working on. Um, you might see if he knows a thing or two. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Ola Har Hart. Harbor. I'll have to jump in there sometime. Or you honestly you might just ask in like the general mapping room or something and I'm sure someone has yeah. an answer. Cause but there's gotta be a bit way to do it. But I just don't know how to set that up. That's where I'm stuck too. I just don't know how to set it. I don't know how to script it right and write it right. And I've tried it. Guys, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Do you use the uh, unit convert mod that Thunder does? Uh, How do you change? what is in what he's like my bales are showing in cubic feet <laughs> it's an x amount in there okay so, so it's um hold on i gotta remember if it's in this mod or if it's in the game settings i didn't know if it was like a ui that he had like last year or last time or what It is, you have to go to your game files and it will plug in a couple XMLs in there into your game files and then mod settings. It's kind of where auto drive, force play, easy. Ah, uh, I see it. it. And then under or units, I assume? Maybe? Under, I'm not sure. Uh, I got it right. Oh, it is definitely not under fill types. There's nothing under fill types. <laughs> Uh, what the heck? <laughs> Maybe it is something that is in the actual mod. that there and that scripts that is strange all right do you have the unit convert aha i see yeah i unzipped it so I'm yeah, looking at it so, do you just move that, the units, add the following lines to your, what? Oh, KJ said there's a button in the game that you could potentially hit to change the unit. I don't, I don't think that's what he's looking for, KJ, because last I knew it was in the menu. And it would. Well, hey, you got your game open? Yeah. Easy. Go in there to your game and look in your key bindings. I thought there was a unit convert or something at the very bottom of your key bindings in the game itself that you can find something to change units. Aha, there is. Right shift plus slash. Right shift plus right control and forward slash. Let's give that a shot. 
right shift slash. Not working. More if that's one of those that you had to be outside the tractor. What the heck? No. What about putting the bail on the tractor? Oh, shit, it's oh, it is changing. It just doesn't have a HUD that shows up. It just changes it, the fill type of it. Yeah. Like now it changed it from cubic feet. Now we're in pounds, tons. Yeah. So it changes it to. Thanks, KJ. Thanks. Because I've been wondering the same thing. That's kind of sweet. So shift, control, and then forward slash changes like volume to like weight. And then shift and forward slash changes. The different weight class. That yeah, helps. Yeah. That makes things a lot better now. Because I was getting sick and tired of seeing metric ton all the time. <laughs> well, this is a heavy bale. It's almost 1,800 pounds. <laughs> it's a heavy 6x5. Where? Or 5x6. Five five <laughs> Ours generally I'm don't run that high, high but. Do appreciate it, KJ. So, see, this is what happens, you know, when you just randomly start streaming. Yeah. Because I don't have all the time in the world to figure out. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Adios. So, I just don't have time to sit down and figure out every single mod. <laughs> no, it's nice. Which, I mean, honestly, I probably could have just asked in Thunder's Discord if I needed it bad enough, but he's pretty busy with everything else in life. So, I don't really want to bother him too much about it, because... Oh, he gave me some special role that, like, gives me, like, a bunch of hidden channels that I originally didn't have in his Discord, so... I'm not even... Yeah. His, he took down the invite link for it. It's one of those discords that he's like trying to like keep it relatively. Yes. Like, yeah, like he moved all his releases to discord. So, and he like cut it off like midway in 19 or something. But yeah, if, if he opens up the window again and I notice it then I'll, I'll see if you want it or not I can send you the link or something mm -hmm. he did that towards the end of 19 where he like opened it up once or twice I just know he's been very busy too he's a freaking amazing scripter though I know I need his help like sadly I'm kind of like a jack of all trades so I don't really have like a specialty in anything I'm just kind of like decent across the board mm -hmm. but yeah so then there's yeah, I need him I need him to write me a script that makes the corn stalk bales work the same as straw bales oh for because like they fucked it over like maze that's why I'm waiting for maze plus and maze plus fucked it over I, I can get maze plus to work with it but I can't get the place supposed to work with it. The uh, same way May's supposed to work back in 19. So it's about how they rewrote it in May's plus 22 that I can only fill up like maybe 45% of corn stalks or less. Mm -hmm. And then he can't fill anymore. It just says no more room. Even though it consumes it, I think it's acting as it wants corn stalks and straw. But I don't know. I'm going to call yeah. it a night because I think that we can take away this. 
yeah, I'm going to put this one bale in the barn and then I'm going to call it an evening too. This stream went way longer than I was anticipating it to. I was solid. I was solidly thinking like an hour and a half to like two hours, not... I think we're getting close to four now. <laughs> it's like, that's a little excessive. Yeah. Well, luckily, no more football for me for a good while, so... I don't have to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, so... Oh, that ain't bad. It's not. It's just getting done with classes on a Friday evening. You're like, oh, I can sleep, and then you're like, oh, wait, I can't. Well, I guess I do appreciate y'all tuning in this evening. Uh, consistently, we're like at eight or more viewers, so do appreciate it big time for all y'all's support. Thanks to Squatch Monkey uh, for giving me some decent commentary along the ride and Rainy and all those other few that kind of hopped in and out as we went. So we will, I don't know when I'll stream again, but we 